Hello! And welcome to... Let's Talk About Book. Where we talk about... Book! book. Normally we say that at the same time, and I just totally didn't. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said let's talk about book, and I just sat there. Mm-hmm. But I think sometimes we do it together. Sometimes you mm-hmm. do it. Sometimes I do it. Yeah, we mix it up. Yeah, we we do the book at yep. the same time with the where we talk about book. But but yeah. anyway, I'm Smivka and I'm Strawberry, and we're reading the Wall of Ascension. Yeah. Also, if my sister makes it here, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, and also hi to. It's like Retro Rocket and then some numbers. Mm, comment. Yes, our repeat commenter. <laughs> it's great. Always love comments. It's it's uh, yeah, c- cause, it's our favorite. Because I was like, oh, we have like a, a new comment. And I was talking about the whole like different editions of the book. Because yes. Because like says a, says different mountains or whatever. Yep. Because uh, it would have been like in the wrong spot. Uh, yeah, or whatever. yeah. And so and so they were like mentioning that. Yeah, which then, is super fun. And and then I and then I was like looking back at like our other comments and I'm like, Oh, that's the same person as before. Yeah. Who who commented about something else. Oh, about like copper, how yes. copper worked. Which was very helpful because mm-hmm. I I was not quite getting that uh, right in my head, so Yeah, so it's just like, Oh, it's the same person, that's fun. <laughs> um but uh uh yeah. Yeah. We're we're doing well of ascension. Yes, we're doing well of ascension. <laughs> we're doing chapters thirty four through thirty nine. Yes. And our current plan is that there'll probably be two more yep. episodes after this. They'll probably both be a bit longer, but uh, right, we're we'll sort of be like splitting up the rest of the chapters. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and doing two more episodes, which will be which will be nice. Um, and then we'll, we'll get to move on to book three. Yeah. And we've been doing some talking about what to do sort of like after yep. the Mistborn trilogy. And I don't know if we've sort of made any... We haven't made any decisions. Because we've yeah. talked about like one-offs, mm-hmm. like doing something either that we both haven't read or something like that. We've yeah. talked about like um, Song of Ice and Fire and stuff as like a big series right, or because, something. Right, because I've read that one and you haven't. Yes. And, yeah. and so that one would be one that's like that. Uh, it'd be interesting almost if we did like that and Stormlight sort of interspersed yeah, yeah, with yeah, each yeah. other. Because I know that there's sort Maybe of like... Maybe if we... If we depending on how much we want to record <laughs> right we could do on one wednesday mm-hmm. uh like uh, stormlight or whatever mm-hmm. and one song of ice and fire that's We're... a lot of characters to keep track of too that is a honestly lot of... to do both at the same time yeah because it's one of those things it's like oh you know you should break up these books yeah um with like other books and then i'm like <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. But also, will I remember everything? <laughs> right. Yeah, because that's the thing. It's like, the Song of Ice and Fire books are also, like, pretty long yep. and pretty dense with characters and stuff. You'll get to, you get to you know, get all the Johns. There's so many Johns. And then there's, um, oh, God, what's that one guy's name? There's, there's one guy who has a bunch of kids named after him. Mm. He has a bunch of kids, and a lot of them are named after him. So, so it's just the same name everywhere. Yeah, and it's like it's like a joke. It's like intentionally kind of a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, that's how names in the real world are. Like, oh you yeah, know? <laughs> that, that that's. I mean, that is how George sees it. Yeah, yeah. Which is like, yes, but also it sucks trying to keep track of that. Like when you're mm-hmm. reading in a book. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because he's like, you know, it's like there's this rule. It's like, oh, don't have two characters names start with the yep. same letter or whatever. And he's like, you know, and then I'm I'm reading English history, like the War of the Roses, and they're all just Johns yeah, and yeah, James yeah. and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. I feel like same letter is going a bit yeah, like that, far. Right. But like, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you. Same name is is difficult. You can do it some, but mm-hmm. like right, and, and also I feel like he does sort of a good job in a sense of like, um, I mean I'm not the best at keeping track of this sort of thing, but like most of the Johns and stuff are in the north. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> where, where it's sort of like the some of the more normal names for us yeah. as English speakers are up in the north and then they get a little bit different like you know your, your Tyrians and stuff yeah, like yeah, that yeah. Are, are more towards the south um, and then once you get up north it's like oh here's John and yeah. <laughs> but then I mean you also get like Sansa which isn't a pretty <laughs> yeah. you know as much of a normal name but anyway this isn't yeah. this... we were also talking about uh, 
when when we want to get to Elantris and mm-hmm. Warbreaker yeah. and when we're doing Stormlight because we also want to do those. Mm-hmm. Right, because like, there's so much Sanderson to do. Yeah. And I want to do it because yes. I've been really enjoying this. But also it's like I feel like I would like to... To intersperse it with some other stuff. Right. You know, and then I'm like, what books have I even read? And I'm like, I've read some Michael Crichton books. Because <laughs> we talked about doing um, Jurassic Park. Yes, we did. Because I, 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 I've not even... I've seen Jurassic World. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Mm-hmm. I've never seen, like, the original, like, <laughs> Jurassic Park. I've never read the books. I have not, none of that. Yep. And you only saw Jurassic World because you were going to see another <laughs> yes, movie. I was going to see Mad Max Fury Road specifically for Furiosa, mm-hmm. um, and the theater was broken. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, the audio was, like, really messed up, like, and you, you couldn't even hear anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we went into Jurassic World instead, because they weren't going to offer us, like, our money back or anything. Like, right. we, went, we went to the desk, and they were like, too bad. Yeah. And so we're like, okay, too bad, we're going into a different movie. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, so, but. so, and I have actually, like, read Jurassic Park, like, one and two, um, I actually, like, read the books back in the day. I say back in the day as if I mean, like, when they came out. I just meant, like, <laughs> yeah, when I was younger, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I read them. Um, and also, I've talked about, there's a book by Michael Crichton called Sphere that I'm a big fan of. <laughs> it's, like, weird sci-fi. And it, that, that sounds, uh, mm-hmm. that sounds fun. And then there's another book by him called Andromeda Strain, which I'm not a fan of, which also seems And like I've a... heard the name of that, but I, I don't mm-hmm. know anything about it. We've also talked about Cradle and some mm-hmm. other Will White stuff as yeah. well. I, like, you've really enjoyed it. Yep. But I'm just, like, there's a part of me that worries that it won't quite yeah, be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I won't quite feel the same way. Yeah. But, I, like, I... See, the thing is, is that a lot of the times when you would play me clips... It's so out of context. It's hard yeah, to like. Yeah, I'm just it. It just kind of yep. washes over me. But whenever you played for me the beginning of that one book, yeah, I was like, you know, interested. And so it's like if I, I feel like we you should know. maybe start with the the Last Horizon series. There's mm-hmm. three out so far, and it is, it's so fun. It mm-hmm. is, it's wild sci-fi nonsense. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's it's a wizard. <clears throat> It's a straight up magic spell wand wizard mm-hmm. in it in, in, in space in space with a bunch of aliens and it's so fun. It's so good. Yeah, um, yeah, and and we also talked about like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yes. Speaking of like weird sci-fi, yeah, that's another one that I have not uh, read but want to. Mm-hmm. And also we talked about Discworld. Mm-hmm. Oh right, which yeah. which neither one of us has read. Yeah, so we're we'll, we'll we'll have to figure it out. We've got we got a lot of stuff that that we're mm-hmm. we're thinking about. Well, we should probably get started on this book that we're yeah. currently reading. Yeah, you know, <laughs> probably. <laughs> we're only eight minutes in. Honestly, we could it could be worse. Mm-hmm. It it certainly could be. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Um, so, epigraphs. Yeah, we can start with the uh, with epigraphs. The epigraphs. So. I almost did the same thing that I did last time and just continue <laughs> to talk over it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I get you. <laughs> right, the first one. There was a place for me in the lore of the anticipation. I thought myself the announcer, the prophet foretold to, dis- to discover the hero of ages. Renouncing Alendi, then, would have been to renounce my new position, my acceptance by the others. And so I did not. Yep. Interesting. And then... But I do so now. Let it be known that I, Quan, world bringer of Terrace, am a fraud. Mm-hmm. And these are interesting because they're like in order like this. I'm like reading them all together last time yes. from the logbook. Because those were sort of like taken yep. not in order from the logbook at the beginning of the last book. But this one it like it's... is in order. Yep. And so I come to the focus of my argument. I apologize even forcing my words into steel, sitting and scratching in this frozen cave, I am prone to ramble. In this frozen cave. See, that's the thing that has me kind of... Because, like, when when it's found by Sazed, mm-hmm. I don't, it's not in, like, a frozen cave, is nope. it? So it's like... Because, like, frozen cave makes me think of, like, Alendi going up into the mountain or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. like, you know, that, that was described as, like, I think, snowy and freezing, maybe? Yeah. And so I'm like... Was was he there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, but 
But I don't know, because it, it seems like they're not, like, with each other, per se, but I, I don't know. I'm yeah. like, where where is he? <laughs> is he in the same place, but just the world's different now? And yeah. So, but I don't know. Just curious. This is the problem. Though I believed in Alundi at first, I later became suspicious. It seemed that he fit the signs, true. But how can I s- explain this? Could it be that he fit them too well? Yeah. What does that mean? I was just about to ask you what you thought. Yeah, well, because, well, I mean, the, the, there's a certain... It, it actually, funnily enough, makes me think of A Song of Ice and Fire. Mm. Because there's various prophecies in A Song of Ice and Fire, and people trying to sort of yeah. make the prophecy yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. And so it could sort of be something like that, where it's like, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to sort of force it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know your argument. We speak of the anticipation, of things foretold, of promises made by our, by our greatest prophets of old. Of course the Hero of Ages will fit the prophecies. He will fit them perfectly. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. And yet, something about this all seemed so convenient. It felt almost as if we constructed a hero to fit our prophecies, rather than allowing one to rise naturally. This was the worry I had. The the thing that should have given me pause when my brethren came to me, finally willing to believe. Yeah. See, that that's a kind of a curious thing because, like, what does it mean for it to arise naturally, <laughs> right? Like that, that that that's you know, because we kind of have the sense of that, like, oh, it'll, it'll happen organically, yeah. it'll happen naturally, but like, you know, what does that mean? Yeah. For it to happen naturally or organically, like, what would that look like as compared to what Alendi was doing right. per se, right? Right. Like, I I, I don't know. Because, like, what was Alendi doing? What were they doing to try and, like, sort of make him fit? Right. You know? I feel like we'll probably get some sort of talking on that at some point, maybe. Because yeah. <sighs> the next one's called Hero of Ages. Yes. And this one's Well of Ascension. Mm-hmm. And we're worried about the deepness and stuff. Yep. But we're also dealing with all of this, like, political things going on. And so, like, we're, go- like... What? <laughs> You know, because it's like, in the last book, I was like, so are we going to overthrow the final empire? Yes. Or is this going to be like a... And now I'm like, are we going to solve this whole deepness thing in this book? Yep. Or is this going to be a next book thing? Yeah. Like, what's... Like, maybe we'll, like, you know, sort of solve this political thing and then be like... and then But, like, the book's called The Well of Ascension. <laughs> so, like, I assume we're going to get there eventually. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. Yep. You know, opens up, oh, there's, there's no Well of Ascension in here. <laughs> bowl of the Winds. Mm-hmm. What? Bowl of the Winds. I'm bowl of the sure Winds. That's the, win, that's the bowl in, uh, in the yeah, seventh yes. book that you have not finished. Yes, the, yes, 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 yes. Time. Well, because I was like, for some reason I heard like, blow instead uh, of bowl. Yes. My, my brain just like, blow of the Winds. And I'm like, yeah. what? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Bowl of the Winds. Yeah. Man, I need to finish that book. And that series, because stuff was happening. Yeah, stuff yeah, was happening yeah. in that book. Yep. We were learning shit about magic. Yep. And like that guy with yeah. like, the floaties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Anyway, <laughs> that, that, that's your no context uh, wheel time, time spoilers. Boiler. Mm-hmm. It's hardly even spoil. Like, I don't even know who that guy is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. All right. Yeah. The, so we've the, done the epigraphs. Yes. That 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 was all the that was all the epigraphs. Yeah. So so now we can move on to chapter thirty four. And I have notes for chapter thirty four. I don't have notes for chapter thirty five. I took <laughs> no notes for chapter thirty five. See, the thing is, is that like I took these notes, and a lot of them were pretty vague. Yeah. Um. Probably because I was just like. I might have been, like, doing something else while I was listening. Yeah. Or just pacing. <laughs> um, you know. You know how it is. Sometimes you're just pacing while you're mm-hmm. listening to the audiobook. And... Oh, I definitely, uh, I definitely do that. You've, you've seen me pace mm-hmm. the house. Uh... Yep, listening. Yep. And crying. Uh, yeah, I think I was listening to Cradle. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, did, there was one time, like, much earlier... Where, like, I remember you, like, sort of pacing around. Like, I think before I, like, lived here. Yeah. Where you were, like, pacing around and finishing an audiobook or something. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> but I don't remember what that one was. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, I, so, so, like, I don't have any notes for Chapter 35 for some reason. I have, like, decent notes for 34, none for 35, 
hardly any for 36 and 37 and then like 38 I, I get like more and then 39 yeah. I have like basically none um I but, uh, I do have some stuff high lit and stuff so yeah so that'll be good yeah um so chapter 34 I was like love ham but he doesn't have the same education opportunities yeah because ham and ellen are talking and they're having some sort of like discussion where Ellen's like, you know, Ham likes to sort of think of himself as a philosopher, but he's not, uh, you know, an academic. Yeah. Uh, Ham looked a bit deflated. Ellen knew that Ham liked to consider himself a philosopher. Indeed, Ham had a good mind for abstract thinking, but he wasn't a scholar. He liked to think up questions and answers, but he didn't have experience studying a text in detail, searching out its meaning and implications. Yeah, and so what, what is it that they were, like, talking about? I don't of? think we get that. It's just, that won't work, Ellen said, shaking his head. So mm. we just get the end of the conversation there. Gotcha. Do they not, like... Um... Uh, here's some four. They spent most of his time voicing one random idea or another. Um... No. Yeah, I then, guess not. No, then we get uh, Njordan. Mm hmm. Njordan? I think it's Norden. Who? Oh. Oh, his former. Oh, right, the obligator guy. Totally forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, he, the guy who used to be an obligator. Yeah. Um, yeah, like. Norden. He just kind of gets like. Nude? N- Norden? <laughs> nude? I don't know why I just. <laughs> nude Norden? Nude, nude, nude Norden. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah (laughs) this guy used to be an obligator now he's just nude all the time he's just nude norden over there (laughs) nude norden (laughs) (laughs) oh man yeah because like he just kind of gets like name dropped and like he's basically seems seems to be almost like uh, i think is he on the uh, council, maybe? I don't know. Um, a scholar named Norden. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, newer. And, yeah, and he's just uh, working with them, for, mm-hmm. former obligator, but has, like, a lot of experience with, like, the the daily bureaucratic stuff, because right, that's yeah, what yeah. the obligators That's what the obligators did. were, like, doing. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Vin feels bad seeing the way Ellen is changing. Yeah. Um, because I sort of, like, talk a little bit, bit, oh, jeez, <laughs> apparently today is not a good day for talking, um, they, they talk a little bit, um, I think, and, and she's like, oh, you know, he's acting different, yeah. you know, um, I don't know if you have any, like, uh, oh, I had one more thing with, uh, Norton, it yeah. was just, uh, he, like, chuckled or whatever about something, I mean, we have Ellen, uh, Ellen had never met a cheerful obligator before. Perhaps that was why Norden hadn't left the city, like most of his kind. He certainly didn't seem to fit into their ranks. I'm just mm-hmm. like, <laughs> gotcha. never met a cheerful ar- uh, ardent. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 bad day for words, it yeah, would seem. Yeah, and I've been re-listening to Words of Radiance because mm-hmm. the nerdy, nerdy mm-hmm. book club is doing Words of Radiance. Ra- Ooh, Radiance. Is it and- a nerdy, wordy book club? Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yep. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yep, the, yeah, Nerdy Wordy Book Club. Because I just knew that it was like, oh, it's Nerdy and Clarus, and then yep. it's on Nerdy Nightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, I, did, <laughs> I, yep. I think I just kind of, I'm sure you said it before. Yeah. Like, to me. Yeah. Um, But anyway. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, I thought you just said, like, the, the nerdy, nerdy book, like. Oh, yeah. Just kind of like, you know. Yeah. Anyway, Ardent is, like, religious figure mm-hmm. in... Um, Words of Radiance? In, yeah, in Stormlight. Stormlight. And so I said Arden instead of Obligator. Right. That's the point. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, Vin, Vin's having her sort of more of her usual shit. <laughs> 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 Where she's like, oh, you know, Ellen's changed and like, you know. Uh, I don't remember exactly in what ways she's talking about this time. Um, that he's, you know, behaving differently and stuff. But... He is, and she's in her feelings about it. Feels like Ellen doesn't need her, but logically knows that that's not what what this is about. Yeah. And it's like, it's always nice that she's like, I know this isn't really the case. Like, logically, it's just like struggling with these emotions. But at a certain point, I am just like, yes, 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 I know, I know. Yeah. You're, <laughs> you're, you're struggling, I get it. I, <laughs> I'd like for something to maybe, like, happen. For y'all to, like, have a conversation or something. Yeah. Rather than just sort of 
to keep hearing Vin kind of like, you know, be be in her feelings about it. Yeah. And I'd just like for them to like, you know, act on it a bit more. Yeah. And we see her sort of act on it in like so, so some ways, like, you know, the the ways in which she does things instead of talking to him. Yeah. But yeah. Um Oh yeah, and then and then my next note is Zane fight. <laughs> Got you. Is, um but there might be more stuff to talk about before that. Yeah, there uh, there was a quick uh like Tyndall was asking if uh Sazed, like had read over the law and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um Oh yeah, cuz right, because there's a, there's a bit where it's like yeah, Sazed was really like important yeah. and like coming up with these laws and yeah, she's yeah, like yeah. mad about it yeah. and he's like don't insult <laughs> Tyndall you were not invited to this meeting you are suffer uh, uh, you are suffered at it your advice has been well appreciated but I will not allow you to insult a friend and guest of my household even if those insults are indirect mm-hmm. I apologize your majesty you will not apologize to me you apologize <laughs> to say Zed or you will leave this conference yep and then she leaves <laughs> Yep, and mm. then, uh, you didn't need to do that, your majesty. Tyndall's opinions of me are well-founded, I think. I will do as I see fit, say said. <laughs> no offense, my friend, but you have a history of letting people treat you poorly. Mm-hmm. I won't stand for it in my house. By insulting you, uh, your help with my laws, she insulted me as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's interesting, because it's And that like... was, like, one of the things that, uh, Vin was kind of like, oh, wow, he's changing. Right, 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 right. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Um, there was also, I wanted to go, mm-hmm. um, um, okay, that's, that's all right, we can, we can go on. Okay. What, what were you looking for? <laughs> I was looking back at the, the stuff talking about, like, the, the, po- the political maneuverings, trying to figure mm-hmm. out, like, what sets up to and stuff, him asking, mm-hmm. um, uh, the obligator, uh, like, mm-hmm what he thought of his laws and yeah, what yeah. what set would do about it and stuff. Right, right, I just right. I just find it interesting like mm-hmm. uh their interactions with like a former obligator and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just like looking at that, but I I didn't find anything specific that I Right, yeah, yeah. anything to... particularly sort of like worth like reading out yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. 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 See, see like um this other we were just talking about, or just read, with, like, the Say It's Ed stuff. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's interesting because it's the sort of, like, conflict about, like, the terrorist people and the sort of, like, role that they've... Yes. ...sort of, like, been put into, but also that they sort of create for themselves, right? Because it's, like, the stuff with, like, the Synod, which, like, wants the Lord Ruler gone... Yeah. ...but still there's sort of, like acting in this mode kind of informed by this sort of like whole being made to like serve yes. and whatnot it's like oh we're gonna go like serve the yeah. world that and... is like part of their like culture now basically yeah mm-hmm. like th- there's been so many generations that have been raised in it you know right you know and so there's a sort of like you know sort of tension and this conflict about like you know how uh says it like feels about things yeah. and how like, you know, it's like, oh, you know, letting people treat you poorly and yeah. stuff like that. He very much doesn't want to be obtrusive. Right. And I think that that definitely comes from him. I mean, he's, like, undercover mm-hmm. and, and stuff. And, like, this yeah. just, like, you know, keep your head down, stay out of the way. That, mm-hmm. like, you know. Right, 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 right. Yeah. And so it's like, you know, they, they were sort of made to be servants. And then they have this whole thing about, like, sort of oh, we're going to, like, teach the world and, like, yeah. kind of, like, be in service of the world rather yeah. than just sort of, like, under, like, the Lord Ruler and stuff. Um, but but it's still this sort of, like, oh, a subservient position and this yeah. sort of, like, emphasis on sort of, like, politeness and following the rules a certain way and stuff like that, you know, that sort of is informed by, like, yeah. like oh, we want the Lord Ruler to be top of, but we're not going to do anything yeah. about it. Right, it's like, we have to sort of, like, stay within the law, like, sort of still skirting it and stuff because they have all the, like, breeding program yeah. stuff that yeah, they're, yeah, like, yeah. You know, but still kind of, in a sense, existing within it. And so, like, now the way that they interact with, like, the new sort of state of things, yeah, there's still some of that old kind of uh, reflexive behavior yeah, and stuff and, like, you know, who, who are we now? <laughs> Right. And, like, ways in which we could be different 
the way that like Sazed does things versus how the Synod wants to do things and how Tindal, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, and then anything else before, like, Vin like, goes off and has a, has a fight with Zane? Um, there's, uh, just a bit of, like, Vin's, like, insecurities and stuff. It's just, like, uh, kind of harkens back to her brother and everything. It's mm-hmm. just, like, despite herself, or, uh, despite herself, des- despite her self-assurances, she heard a small voice pop up in the back of her mind. Leave him first, her brother Rean seemed to whisper. It'll hurt less. Mm-hmm. As just, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah Like, because yeah. we haven't heard much mm-hmm. about, you know... Right, we haven't had we haven't had that sort of the the reen talking in her head yeah. bit in in a while. Right, um, but yeah. So then uh, then we can go to Zane. Yep, because we have Zane fight. Yep. Zane offers for them to run away together instead, yep. and warns her of his orders to kill her. Yes. Before that, it seems like he's this fight seems to be like a test to see if uh, mm-hmm. um, they have the ATM. Because uh, right, he, right. he's he uses ATM in the middle of it, and she mm-hmm. like freaks out, and she's like, "I'm yeah. gonna die!" Like he's mm-hmm. he's like actually gonna kill me this time. He's using ATM. I don't have any. And then he's like, you know, mm-hmm. stops and yeah, and and it's like he's like, "You really don't have it, do yeah. you?" Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, and it's like have orders to to kill her yeah. and stuff like that. And yeah. so we could run away together. And it's like, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, not gonna do that. Yep. Yep. And then is that is that it for chapter thirty four? Um, so we go in because uh, we're in Zane's perspective mm-hmm. uh, when he like says that he uh, that Streff wants uh, wants him to kill mm-hmm. her or whatever, uh-huh. and so he uh, yeah, because he's telling Vin about uh, him being Ellen's brother. Mm, right, right, right. Uh, I, I this, totally forgot about that in this conversation uh, yeah so okay uh, Zane squeezed his eyes shut she would not be fooled not a woman who had grown up on the streets um, uh, a woman who was friends with thieves and scammers this was di- the difficult part she would need to see things that terrified Zane she would need to see uh, tr- I don't <laughs> I didn't you can, you can try again <laughs> Yeah, so it's just it's just uh, Zane telling telling her like, oh, yeah, wow, I'm just really off. I cannot like, get back on track here. Okay. Um. Yeah, he he just explains his dad's like mm-hmm. nonsense and that he is like trying for an an army of mistings and misborn mm-hmm. or whatever, and explains that. Z- yeah. that uh ellen does his brother and that ellen doesn't know uh-huh. that he exists right, right, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yep <laughs> i got you yeah but yeah and then they uh they kind of have a conversation about uh straff and like uh she like asks zane like uh you must hate him uh vin whispered hate no why hate a man for what he is uh uh oh no he's talking about ellen <laughs> gotcha uh Hey, no, I hate a man for what he is. Ellen has done nothing to me, not directly. Besides, Straff ev- eventually found a reason to need me. After I snapped, he finally uh, had what he had been gambling to get for the last 20 years. No, I don't hate Ellen, though sometimes I do envy him. He has everything, and still, it seems to me that he doesn't appreciate it. Mm. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, El- Ellen and... Um... Zane, I, I I meant to say Zane, and I just said Ellen, and, yeah. then, I, and then I was like Ellen and Zane, but this is just only a thing about Zane. Yeah, Zane yeah, just yeah. got like a lot of shit going on. Yep, yeah. <laughs> I was just like Ellen, that's not who you meant to say. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, and so then he also warns that uh, um, they sent a bunch of refugees over to like stress the city a bit, stress right? Resources. Yeah, be- because like the Coloss. Yeah. Uh, like destroyed a place. Yes. And so then there's a bunch of like refugees from from the Coloss yep. who uh, sort of Straff 
sent sort of like the worst of them to yes to the city and basically anyone... any non-combatants mm-hmm. he, he drafted anyone who uh who could yep. fight and everyone else they got sent yep and and because he's like knows that ellen will take them in yep. and that you know and then and then uh yeah it's like which we which we do end up seeing yep yep and then uh and then is that it yep all righty so that's it for chapter 34. Chapter 35. We, we've we been gone for, for a for, little bit. For a little bit. <laughs> for you, no time. Yep. For us, we recorded that like a while a ago. A week ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we weren't having it last time. I was yeah. having, like, nose problems. Yep. I was having, like, a stuffy nose. And we were both just kind of, like, out of it. Uh, I was out of it, and I think you were having trouble reading. <laughs> yeah, I was having trouble reading. Uh, so, so we're back at it again. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, and... that just brought me to Vine, mm-hmm. which I haven't thought about that Vine in ages. Back, uh, to get, back at it again with the white vans. Oh, yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. old mm-hmm. vine, meme, vine meme. Yeah, 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 because <laughs> I was like, was that, damn, damn. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Because I was like, this one where it's like guy that like crispy cream and then he like does the flip and like hits yes. the sign or whatever yeah and i think he's like bye guy again crispy cream or something like that but it's like a different sort of like yeah, cadence yeah, yeah, yeah. and i definitely said it more like that one damn daniel yep i haven't thought of because there was a period of time where you just couldn't say damn yeah, yeah without yeah, someone yeah. being like damn daniel yep yeah <laughs> like <laughs> it was everywhere for like a little bit yep, god yep. vine is crazy <laughs> Oh, mm, do I do I say this? Uh, because it's like I don't want to give too much away about myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did go to school oh, yeah. with some people yep. who got big on Vine. No, you should say it. You should say it because I don't think it's that traceable. Yeah, because it's like would they know <laughs> what like school he went to? But even if they did, it, it's a big school. I mean, well, uh, compared to mine, I compared suppose. to yours, but you went to a, a teeny tiny <laughs> yeah, school. Teeny tiny. Um. Well, like, it was because because the one who's still like well known now is LeBrant. Yeah, 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 yeah. like the LeBrant family. Yep. Yeah, it, was it Cole LeBrant? Yeah, it was Cole. Yeah, I went to school with him. <laughs> <laughs> I I went to school with him and I like played rec league soccer yeah. against him <laughs> and like his dad who was like one of the soccer coaches. You know, I may I don't think I ever had his dad as like a coach. Yeah, because I had a different family whose dad was the coach and I, that was like the rec league team that I was in. But yeah, no. they were on Amazing Race, like mm-hmm. Cole and his mom. Yeah, and that and that was weird. I never like I knew of Amazing Race as a thing, but I never like watched yeah. it. But I do remember just being like, I, like seeing ads for that one. I think and being like, I I know that guy. Yeah, yeah. Because it was like dem white boys. Yeah, yeah. On TikTok, and like every like every, <laughs> and like people knew about them. I like. Fine. Yeah. What's but he? Yeah. What's he? <sighs> I got you. Yeah. See, <laughs> TikTok the, is the new Vine. TikTok so is the new Vine because Vine was only around for like oh, such a yeah. short time. And the thing was that like TikTok was like around them, but it was musically, musically yeah. at the time. Because, and then turned into TikTok. Because I remember people, because like I remember also seeing people do like musically, but like much less. Yep. Anyway, the point is, is that I went to school with them and one time I actually went to like a theater thing. I was in theater. I went to like a theater thing like at like a school Mm -hmm. and so it was like talking with like it was like (laughs) me and a couple other people were like talking to some folks and like it came up somehow and they're like you know them white boys (laughs) and we're like yeah like tangentially (laughs) you know but it's just like these these guys i just remember like seeing like they made like a music video one time yeah yeah, yeah. and i remember watching that being like what the fuck (laughs) (laughs) this is so weird and it's also like it's also funny because I would see Vine compilations yeah. oh. online, and like, and then just jump scared by, and, the, and then every, and then every, because there's the one where it's like one of them, and it's like the joke is that he looks like that guy from Frozen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember his name, but yes. Mm-hmm. And just like every now and then, I'm just like, oh, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I don't think that was LeBrant. Maybe that was LeBrant, but you know, one of the three of them. I don't yeah, remember yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and I'm just like, <laughs> what, what the hell? Yeah, so so that's my sort of t- tangent to, <laughs> to to fame is that I, I went to school with Dem White Boys, uh, which, boy, what a name, especially for a bunch of uh, dudes from Alabama. Yeah. You yeah. know. <laughs> I mean, you know. 
it's it's a public school in Alabama. You can imagine the kinds of things <laughs> that you hear <laughs> and that I'm sure that they've said <laughs> because you know the 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 type of guy that they were yeah, and yeah. like knowing other people sort of like around them like I mean you he's, know. he's known as a bit of a right winger mm-hmm. like in oh general yeah and stuff oh yeah like to- to- totally not surprising it's yeah. one of those things where it's like for me with my family we didn't really like grow up that way yeah and so like it was always a surprise to me growing up yeah when it's like someone who I'm just like friends with and then like as you grow up and become more sort of, like, political. Yes. That it just sort of, like, it's like, oh, right, yes, of course. Yep. <laughs> of course this is what you believe. Yep. But, you know, like, in school you're just hanging out. And you're yeah. just, like, doing whatever. Um, and then I'm like, oh, mm, You know, like, hearing stories from my other friends about, like, uh, not related to, to those guys. But it's, like, yeah, other yeah, people yeah. being, like, you know, one of my friends, his brother had, like, a Bernie sign and someone else was, like, stealing it or whatever. <laughs> yeah, and he was yeah. like, I know that it was so-and-so. He denies it, but I fucking know that it was him. And That's I'm... all right. I've knocked down... A, <clears throat> I probably shouldn't say this online. <laughs> <laughs> I also probably shouldn't say that online. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it's... it's th- that This is totally unrelated <laughs> to anything to do with... To do, to do with Well of Ascension, yeah, yeah, yeah. but but it is fun um, <laughs> since since we brought up Vine because I just remember like people doing Vine all the time oh, in yeah, high school, yeah, like yeah. specifically in high school. Yeah. Vine like that's, that's lived and was, died. That's when it was around. Was mm-hmm. was like when we were in high school. Yep, and just seeing like other people around me just like make vines randomly yep. and yeah. stuff. Like I had a I had a friend who was like he because <laughs> we went to like. We were at, like, some fast food place because we were, were like, you know, it's like you go to a meet mm-hmm. and then, like, you're at, like, a, you know, fucking fast food place on the way back. And and they had, like, a soda fountain and it was, like, a really long one. And they had, like, Coke on there multiple times. Oh, yeah. And so it's just my buddy going, like, I think I want a Coke. No, I think I want a Coke. I think I want a Coke. And just, like, <laughs> going to each of the different ones. Um, and, and I remember, like, watching them, like, yeah. like film that. But, of course, like... Nothing ever came of that one. Yeah, they yeah, weren't, yeah. <laughs> you know, at all. Um, it, it is weird because I was like, because I remember asking people, I was like, so what? So what did they do? Like what? Like yeah, what? Yeah, did, yeah. Like what on Vine did they do? Like it's like I don't know. They twerked. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, but like, and then eventually they did like little sketches mm-hmm. and stuff. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Like yeah. I've seen, I've seen Cole in like sketch videos and mm-hmm. stuff before. Like right. little in like compilations like he'll show up a, a few yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah and, and so it's like but i just because thing was like i remember it's like weird dating ones or mm. or whatever like yeah because yeah. i remember like going to their page at one point and it was mostly just them like i think they were like i guess like doing like a tour or something mm. they were like going around so it's just like them at a bunch of different places like with a crowd of people being like whoa you know i i knew of him on vine like kind of after like them white boys or whatever yeah, 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 yeah like i didn't really know of any of the others just him mm-hmm. yeah that's funny because like he was doing similar stuff to like what the paul brothers were doing on vine mm-hmm. um at the time gotcha gotcha which gotcha was just these like, similar just like just like dumb little sketches or, yeah, 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 or whatever yeah. a lot of times like mm-hmm. I, I don't even know i can't even think of like a an exact thing or whatever. Yeah, like a specific example or anything. <laughs> yeah, no, I get you, I get yeah, you. Because, yeah, yeah. like, I, I think I remember, like, seeing a little bit of that. Because um, it was, like, I think there was one where it was, like, because, like, Snapchat, if you, like, screenshot, it, like, notifies yes. the other oh, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I think there was, like, a skit where it's, like, one of them, like, gets a Snapchat and then, like, screenshots it, and then the other guy, like, just appears from behind the couch and it's like, what the fuck? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and just starts, like, chasing him or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't... But, yeah, it, it's it's... It's just funny because it's just like all of a sudden it's like <laughs> people are like talking about them and I'm like, yep. it's, it's like, it's I don't like, know. They're just I, these yep. fucking guys at yep. our school, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. But anyway. We should probably. We, 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 we should. We should probably yep. a- actually talk about um, talk about the book. Yep. Uh, I don't even know how we got started talking about Vine and shit. Because, you said back at it. Yeah, that's <laughs> what it was. It was literally just that. It was literally just that. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes, I don't have any notes for chapter 35. Yeah. I did go back and re-listen to it, but I still didn't take any notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's the it's the chapter where Vin and Ellen go have a meeting with not Straff, 
Set. Yes. They go and have a yeah, meeting yeah, with yeah. Set because Set's in the city and he's in in one of the the keeps or whatever, and they're having like these like private meetings to talk about stuff, um, and and it's it's really interesting, uh, because like we we start with Ellen and Vin like sort of like getting ready to go yeah. and like yeah, yeah, yeah. going and they're talking about like. It's like going to a ball, yep. which we haven't done in a while, and we never got to, like, dance at a ball or yeah. whatever. Um, and talking about, like, it's like they're too expensive. Yeah. And it's like, oh, we could do, like, a like a charity ball. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, but then we'd probably end up paying, you know, spending more, more yeah. for the ball than, like, we raise money for the thing, which is just such a funny, like, you know, indictment of... <laughs> <laughs> the, right, like charity, like those types of like charity, charity functions, you like know, that. charity events and stuff like that. Um, which which now has me thinking about the completionist. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but but yeah, it's like but you know, it's more akin to these sort of like big sort of like rich people like yeah, charity yeah. function things. Yeah. Um, it's like we we'll have a big event and we incurred some donates. Like yeah, and then all the money will go to merchants and stuff yeah, of like yeah. the people. Um. And, and just sort of having that fun little little conversations, like you know, a misborn who's uh, too stingy to waste coins, and a noble who's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> talks about yeah, whose yeah, balls yeah. are too expensive. Yeah. You know, <laughs> what a what a group we are, what a pair we are. Um, and then they go meet with Set, yeah, and have some very interesting conversation, um, because Set is doing his thing. Where he's honest in his own way. Yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're very honest with me. He's like, nope, I've lied to you three times yeah. tonight. Good luck yeah. figuring out which ones they were. <laughs> um, and uh, I think this is like pretty late in the chapter, actually, but like Vin is trying to like scout out for like Alamancers. Like she's like, you yeah. know, burning yeah, bronze yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And she's like, there's not very many. There's like a couple kind of yeah. like hidden around. And there's no, like, one, no copper clouds or anything. So, like, you know. Uh, <clears throat> she's, like, just kind of like has a moment where she's, like, doing that at one point. Yeah. But most of the, the chapter is the conversation between Set and Ellen. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's, it's interesting. Um, we, we find out that, like, he thought that he realized what Breeze was doing, but was actually tricked by Breeze. Yes, yes. <laughs> um... <laughs> Where it's like, you know, it's like, I ah, do you think I wouldn't recognize yep. one of the survivor's own, yep. own crew members? And then it's like, you know, it's like the A-team, it's like, I thought you... <laughs> yep. Yeah, you listened to Breeze, you let him join you, heard his advice, and then only chased him away when you found him being intimate with your daughter, the one you claim to have no affection for. Is that why he told you uh, he left camp? Because I caught him with Alrian? Goodness, uh, what do I care if the girls seduced him? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh... And so, so why did you chase him back? I tried to, uh, to turn him. He refused. I figured killing him would be preferable to letting him go back to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and then and then later when they're talking about the ATM, uh, it, it's like it's like no, I don't have the ATM. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah. Yep. Here it is. Uh, of course you have it. Where else would it be? Not here for certain. But. The rumors. Breeze spread those rumors. <laughs> I thought you'd figured out why he joined your group. He wanted you to come to Luthadel so you'd stop Straff from taking the city. <laughs> but Breeze did everything he could to keep me from coming here. He downplayed the rumors. He tried to distract me. He... I thought he was only there to spy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's it's so funny. Just like Breeze is like. Yep. It's like nah. You thought you you knew, but Breeze was he fucking got you the whole time. Yep. Breeze is the master manipulator yep. over here. Like. <laughs> the only thing he didn't notice was all Rianne. Uh... <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, cause, cause it's just like Breeze. <laughs> the idea that's like Breeze was like downplaying the rumors and stuff yes. like. You know, like, oh no 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 because yep. it's like oh I'm obviously the spy yeah and so so if, if I'm downplaying so um, if so I'm then... saying don't go then obviously you want to go yes. because I'm the spy trying to keep you from yeah from from doing the thing and of course you know I'm the the spy of course you would recognize one of the mm-hmm. survivors you know yep it's like <laughs> my job is to show up and be obvious exactly. so that I could do it, it's kind of like the the gambit that like Vin pulls with um straff or yeah. like intentionally yep. like letting Playing him up. yeah yeah, yeah. And, and then so then later when it, 
so that when she's actually doing the subtle things, he doesn't like notice and yep. whatnot. And then you know we have like the big moment where he where she like fucks with his shit. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Um. So I thought that was very fun. I, yeah, really, yeah. <laughs> I really liked. Really, <laughs> but like, but Breeze, I thought he was <laughs> right. But, but wait. But wait. <laughs> I read that. <laughs> yep. 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 Um. And, and you know they have their sort of talks about like the nature of ruling and it's like yeah. you can have safety or you can have uh I, I don't remember exactly how he puts it so you can do you know it's like you can be a good ruler you can have safety or whatever um it's like you need to he's like oh what are you gonna do with the sky and it's yeah. like i'm gonna put them back to work yeah. no emancipated peasant class yeah which is interesting that he phrases it like that. <laughs> but you know but yeah um so so, so, so it's fun just sort of, like, getting their whole thing, because Set and Straff just, like, operate differently. Yeah. You know? Because Straff, it's all this, like, posturing. Um, he, he's, he's, like, putting on this act all the time. Yeah. And it's, like, it's true in a sense, yeah. but he's, you know, 90% posturing by volume. Yep. Yeah, You know, yeah. it's, like, he, he's taking the poison and then rushing off to secretly go get the antidote and stuff like that while Set's just like I'm here yep, yep. <laughs> fuck you <laughs> it's like fuck you give me your lunch money yeah, yeah. that's that's very Set <laughs> what are you gonna stop me it's like listen at least I'm telling you that I'm taking your lunch money <laughs> yep, yep. I'm not pickpocketing you I'm just fucking stealing your shit I'm just telling you to give it to me so I don't beat you up yeah um, yeah, so, so it's, it's interesting, you know, sets the kind of guy that, uh, annoying, uh, people in politics are like, well, at least he's honest, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, so like, I mean, say what you want about him, at least he's honest. Very, very Trump in a way. I was, yeah, <laughs> that, that is very much what I was thinking, <laughs> except I'm pretty sure, except I definitely say that sets like... <laughs> Got it more he, together he, than Trump does. And he's more charismatic. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very much so. Um, I keep Although looking at my... Although I don't think you'd say that if you were Ska, so... No. <laughs> See, I, 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 I keep looking at my notebook as if there's going to be notes, notes yeah. for Chapter 35 in here, and there's not. Yeah. We, uh... I, I think we've mainly done mm -hmm. 35, unless there's anything else. Uh... I mean, probably. See, I, because I had some, some stuff, because, like, I mentioned that, like, Vince, like, looking for, yes. for people, and she has, like, a moment in there where it's, like, she's, like, looking, doesn't really see much of anything, and then it's just, like, oh, you know, how often do I take for granted this, uh, this thing that I can, like, pierce copper clouds yeah. and all this sort of stuff. She has this whole moment that, that, that just sort of left me sitting there being, like, why? Yeah. What, what was, what was the point of this little moment, yeah. you know? Uh, she found nothing. <clears throat> Finally satisfied, she returned to picking at her meal. How many times has this ability of mine, the ability to pierce copper clouds, proven useful? She had forgotten what it was like to be blocked from sensing elementic pulses. This one little ability, simple though it seemed, provided an enormous advantage. And the Lord Ruler and his inquisitors had probably been able to do it from the beginning. What other tricks had she missed? What other secrets had died with the Lord Ruler? And then talking about he knew about the deepness and all of that. Yep. Yeah. So, so it's like, she's kind of like thinking on this stuff again. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's kind of like... I don't know, like a, a reminder that yeah. like this, but but it's sort of like part of me is like, okay, yep. yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like what's what's the yep. point of this exactly? Um, because it just kind of feels like we're just sort of treading over sort of like ground that we've already covered yeah, in yeah. a way, and it's like just her sort of continuing to think about it, but it just didn't feel like it was kind of adding anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that I necessarily like needed per se. Yeah, but you know, it's, it's you know still just kind of getting like her thoughts. Yeah. During the moment, but yeah, I was just kind of like, I was like, this feels like, is this going to go somewhere, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I'm like, he doesn't have a ton of, like, Alamancers there, and I'm like, is there going to be something about, like, because he's, like, one of these, like, you know, country... Outer nobles, yeah. Outer nobles, do they have, like, less Alamancers to sort of, like, use generally? Yeah. Like, because I know there's the whole thing about, like, noble bloodlines and, like, how noble you are or something. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Has something to do with it because you know chef's like oh because i don't know yeah. if that's just sort of like because it does seem to be genetic yeah because it is genetic and chef's like oh you know especially with you know uh you know forget exactly how they put it but like you know 
how good his bloodline is yes, or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. is especially likely to have like alamancers or something yeah. and i'm like i think it's like how close it is to the original like right alamancers. <clears throat> right and so it's like is that like true right. or is that like a thing that, that the nobility just kind of like thinks right. because you know it's like a lot of the stuff i'm sure is coming from the church yep. and like the church is like this is where alamancy came from it was given to like to these people by the lord rule and whatnot yep. but like is that true? We know that they have secrets about Alamancy yeah. and stuff. It's just like everything, like, like there's just like so much, like I, <laughs> everything relating to like kind of his history mm-hmm. and like kind of Alamancy and stuff like that is, is all a bit like, yeah. W- what did he hide? And you know, mm-hmm. but what is just sort of like his, you know, that he's just trying to like put out there. Yeah. Cause I don't know. Sometimes in stories, People will be like, oh, <laughs> you know, because because there'll be things where it's like, oh, well, this character said that this thing was true. And then in the story, we see like something else. And there are times where it does genuinely sort of feel like, um, well, this was supposed to be like, you know, this is what the character thinks. Yes. And then like, you know, but like, you know, there are times where it feels like this is just the author saying one thing and then saying another. Yeah. And yeah, then there are yeah, times yeah. where it actually feels like, no, this was sort of the intention to be like we have unreliable uh, uh, yeah like misleading information right and, and and i feel like that that's been set up yeah. in these books because like we do know that like the church was like keeping secrets yep. and stuff and yep. that like you know so it's like i i'm willing to kind of believe yeah, we know that there's like some some mm-hmm. other information or, or right that that, that that like you know the, the rules of alamancy as we know them sort of come from the church and whatnot and yep. like obviously we have these alamancers who like practice it but it's yep. like it, if you know, we didn't know about Duralumin because no one yep. knew to try it. And because if you try burning a metal that you're not supposed to, it'll it can really hurt you. Yep. So it's like you know. Yeah, and she like made herself sick, mm-hmm. uh, like before trying it. Uh, yeah. Like trying the other versions of it and stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so so it's just like I, I'm willing to accept sort of different information about Alamancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which also sort of is part of like you know like way early on I was like someone said that they like retconned ATM. Yeah. I'm now yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we know we know now that there's like all this like yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of like weird information and misinformation about how Alamancy works. Yeah. So it's like I'm willing to believe anything <laughs> kind yeah, of yeah. Um, about about how this stuff works or changes and whatnot. Yeah. So, so yeah, that that was just kind of s- some thoughts there at at the end with regards to like um, Vin's whole thing there. Yeah. And then I wish I had more to say about the conversation other than just it was interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah i don't know ellen good guy <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah he's like i actually like care and set just kind of doesn't get that yeah i'm yeah, like yeah, a yeah. sort of it's just not how he operates no. and and so it's just like they're just yeah how power, power and wealth for him and the few he cares about you know yep yeah. <laughs> which like who who even does he care right, about you know because right. he's also like i don't give a shit about my daughter <laughs> you can fucking have her um yeah Yeah. so um do you think he's being honest uh, about that i don't know because i said before that i'm like maybe Ariane's like a spy yeah yeah you know i I could still see that being the case and that his all like yeah whatever it's just like a part of that but also like i said but i had also said before that like oh it'd be like oh yes give her back so that i can then get the information yes. or whatever but he's also but like he's, he's in the fucking city yeah, right now yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> so, and he's like he's not asking for her back he's not no like, he's just like i don't care like yeah yeah so like maybe maybe it is just like a uh, straight up you know it, it just kind of is you know yeah or it could be a like oh, I don't care about her, so maybe it'll get them to give her back, you know? Like, oh, it's at least true. she can't be a hostage, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> right, 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 because then if I'm, like, give her back, then it's like, well, then negotiation is supposed to be like, eh, whatever, yeah. you know? Yeah, if no one sort of cares one way or the other, then she can kind of just yeah. maybe move back and forth without too much trouble. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think that there's still Excuse me. the possibility that she's, like, a spy. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I think that's, that's it for, for chapter 35. Mm-hmm. All right. Chapter 36. Is that gone? 
Uh, yeah, I just have it, like, zoomed way out. Oh, so it just doesn't show up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so it's just no, not... No, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you can see it, like, slowly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the, the audio. Yeah, the, the audio file, because, like, I took a moment to be like, are we quieter? Yeah. Are, we being, are we too quiet? <laughs> and maybe we are too quiet. Uh, I always worry <laughs> they, were, they were too quiet. But I'm like, did the gain yeah. knob get, yeah, get fucked yeah. up? Um... But yeah, so 36. chapter 36. I do have notes for this, but I have like two notes. Yeah. Um, but we see like the refugees. Yes. That are, that are in Luthadel now. And Sazed is taking care of them. Is helping to take care yeah. of them. And Breeze is also there. Yeah. Breeze is also he's, there. He's basically sitting kind of uh, just in the room, like in mm-hmm. the corner, basically. Yep. He's just kind of like sitting over there. Is he like reading or something? Oh. Uh, I think or he, like pretending to read. Yeah, I think he's pretending. Uh, uh, Bree, uh, sorry. Sazed nodded to the side where Bree sat in a. Bs- <laughs> Sazed nodded to the side where Bree sat in a chair, ostensibly reading a book. He looked terribly out of place in the room, wearing his fine three-piece suit. Yet his mere presence said something remarkable in Sazed's estimation. Estimation. Yep, because he's over there just soothing. Yep. Doing his soothing yep. to to help <laughs> out these uh, refugees who've come in. Um, and Sazed is also helping, he's, like, helping this woman who's, like, baby is sick? Yeah, uh, it's, like, uh, she had lost three children in the Colas attack, two more in the flight to Luthadel, and now the final one is sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, <laughs> and there's a line where, where he says, Esoterica will not ease this woman's pain. Um, yes. talking about, like, he's thinking of all these, like, yeah. religious things. Um, a, do- a dozen different uh, religions passed through his mind. He had spent his entire life trying to encourage people to believe in something other than the Lord Ruler. Yet for some reason, at this moment, he found it difficult to preach one of them to G- Genadir, it seems? Um, Maybe. It had been different before the collapse. Each time he'd spoken of a religion, Sazed had felt a subtle sense of rebellion. Even if people hadn't accepted the things he taught, and they rarely had, his words had reminded them that there had once been other beliefs other than the doctrines of the Steel Ministry. Yeah, and, and it's interesting, um, just sort of like, it's like right now what this yeah. person needs is like practical stuff. Uh, I'm going to read one more little bit. I found the line that you were looking at. Mm-hmm. Uh, now there was nothing to rebel against. In the face of the terrible grief he saw in her eyes, he found it difficult to speak of religions long dead, gods long forgotten. Esoterica would not le- ease this woman's pain. Right. And, and that's interesting on its own, but also in like the previous episode, I had mentioned the YouTube channel Esoterica. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then reading yeah. this and being like, Esoterica <laughs> will not ease this woman's pain. So I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, apologies to Dr. Justin Sledge, that's his name, because I, I've re-listened to, like, a little bit of his stuff. Mm. I was, like, re-listening to some of his um, Jewish mysticism playlist. I want to listen to some of that, because mm-hmm. one, it'd be interesting, and two, because of Cosmere things. Yeah, I, I think I think it'd be interesting for, for us to, like, put on and, like, listen to sometime. I can't wait till you get to some Cosmere things and I can mm-hmm. talk to you about, like... Mm-hmm. About some of that, because I, I think that'll be very interesting. Oh, yeah. And it, I, I think he's also taken some of that for, like, Stormlight. Mm-hmm. I can I can see it. Yeah, especially once you start getting into, like, the crazy, like, Kabbalah, yes. like, um, Tree of Life, um, Sefer Zohar. These are all just words. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but like, that, that, that sort of, like, yeah. uh, branch of things. Like, you know, if you've ever seen, like, like the Circles... And they're, yeah. like, connected, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, the, it's, like, this whole, like, diagram or whatever, like, he talks about that, like, oh, they're, like, the different pieces of God, and they're, like, out of whack, they're, like, not in proper balance, and by doing Judaism right hard enough, uh, if we can do Judaism just the right way, yeah. all of us, then it'll fix God, yeah, 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 yeah. and get all of his bits in balance, and everything will be good. <laughs> I just... And, and and whenever I tell you that, you're like, hmm, Cosmere. And yeah. I'm like, interesting. <laughs> I, that's that's all I can, can really say. And hopefully people mm-hmm. know what I'm talking about. Because, it, like, and it's, any of it's you just wow. Cosmere heads out there. <laughs> I don't know what the term is. World Hopper, I think people use. Mm. Or, like, Arcanist, depending. Mm-hmm. But I think that's more for people who are just, like, 
like the lore and like mm-hmm. how how like the the lore well how like the magic system and like all of the magic systems work and stuff they're like called arcanists it's the whole thing it's the uh the the tech kings and the library of <laughs> oh, o'hara's yes. oh, yes. of the the cosmere world yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> which i i cuz i was talking to you recently about like one piece stuff yeah yeah, yeah. and how like Teking and Library of O'Hara, Arthur, and like Murphy yep. ha- have like this thing that they keep saying yes. about yeah, the yeah. Gorosei yep. that I'm like, why? <laughs> why would that be true? And like I've been thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we've each talked about like that we should make like YouTube videos yep. besides these, these ones that we already yeah, do, yeah. and like I I might do a video on One Piece in general where I talk about like stakes and yeah. storytelling. And I kind of want to talk about the Stormlight pre- preview chapters because mm-hmm. I feel like I need to talk about them, and right. I've been reading them every week when they've been coming out. Mm-hmm. See, see, here's the thing, um, oh, and then I'd also maybe do a video talking about my grievances with this whole Gorosei theory. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Where I'm like, listen, you're just like, oh, maybe, but I'm like, why? Why would that be true? And yeah, I'm not going to get yeah. into it in case, you know. But a lot of times when, like, theories like that, like, people just they become canon to them and so mm-hmm. they just like start like saying them and then working off them as if they're like a true like mm-hmm. actual canon thing like i don't know like, like just none of the things that they've ever said have been like none of that seems like it means tr- yeah. like it means would would it, like i don't know i'll, I'll maybe get into yeah. it in its own dedicated video <laughs> sometime um, but it'd be pretty short it basically just me being like why yeah, yeah, yeah. why maybe Sh- we should make shorts yeah, you know, I've, like for just like our little like. Mm-hmm. I've stuff thought that we've wanted. I've thought about. I've also thought about making shorts in terms of just like finding clips yeah. from the podcast yeah, and yeah. turning them into shorts, and then just like putting some shorts up on yeah. the channel as like you know a way to get people to like maybe like be like oh that yeah. seems fun and then you know. I also want to make a little uh, spren version of myself for mm-hmm. stormlight. Yeah. Um, I want to make a strawberry mm-hmm. like pattern. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. Yeah. Yep. See, that's the thing. It's like, we need, we need, cause like I made our little like channel logo, yeah. Yeah. which if you've ever looked at it and been like, what is that? I'm sure you can tell the, I think, I think you can tell. Cause, cause you can definitely tell it's a book, but what's that thing on the book? No, well, it's a, it's a cat. Yeah. It's a cat. It's a curled up cat. Yeah. But it like when I look at it, I'm like, it's just a blob. <laughs> it's just a gray blob with like a little face, kind of like a weird little yeah. cat face. Um, but like literally, I took like a, a picture of our like, like an encyclopedia, encyclopedia, right or something. Uh, well, it was my it's my copy of the complete works of Shakespeare. Gotcha. That I like opened up and like traced over in GIMP, and then I did the same thing with a picture of, um, I say my cat, but like it's my parents have two cats because yeah. i don't live with them anymore so those cats aren't yeah, my cats yeah, yeah. but um you know one, one of our cats like curled up and i tried to sort of like outline it but the thing is that when a cat curls up like that they're just, they, just a little ball mm-hmm, they just become a little, little ball and they're just it's so it's kind of indistinguishable and it's funny because there was a picture of one of the cats but then i colored it like the other cat anyway um if anyone out there's like man i'd love to draw a cat curled up on a book and give it to you i'd appreciate it <laughs> but uh but yeah we should we should actually talk about the book probably yeah I... this is another one of those this is theoretically a podcast yep. about book yep. episodes and, th- and th- see this is what happens only, when we only actu- a couple like 20 minute tangents right see this is what happens when we actually have like energy <laughs> to yeah. do the yeah. podcast yeah, as we just just start going off on uh, tangents. As opposed to the first chapter, it's like, uh, yeah, so, uh. <laughs> and, like, I also had a major issue in the first chapter where I just couldn't, mm-hmm. I just couldn't speak. Yeah, it's like, you couldn't speak. I had a stuffy nose, and yeah. I was just, like, not <laughs> fully there. Uh, like, I was trying to read a paragraph, and it just was mm-hmm. not happening. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but but this chapter, mm-hmm. I, I like this chapter. Yes. Because, you know, we, we're getting all this stuff. Sazed's helping this lady out. It's like, you know, yeah. she doesn't need dead religions right now. Which, again, yeah. it's like, Sanderson, 
again, it keeps coming back to Samson as a religious man, but he's yes. someone who, like, seems to just, like, understand that, like, the answer isn't always just more religiosity, yes. you yeah. know? Yeah, it's, it's something I really appreciate about, uh, it, about his, uh, stuff. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, it's not just, like... <laughs> and, and it also feels like it respects religion, too. Mm-hmm. Because, like, sometimes you do get, like, the swing the other way, mm-hmm. where you get someone who, like, is, like, the world doesn't need more mm-hmm. religiosity, but then it also just completely demonizes mm-hmm. that in general and it's just it's just nice that the, like there is like that kind of respect there yeah yeah it, it's it's interesting because it's like well especially because it's like he, he respects the idea of religion in general and it's not just like well my religion is mm-hmm. correct and everyone else's is shit which is one of those things where it's like you know um can be one of those weird things about religion yeah you know it's like it's like how there was that japanese cult movie um where it's like the plot of the movie is so there's this like fake cult leader yeah like on tv personality guy who then gets like defeated by you know their cult their, that's yeah, correct yeah. you know and it's literally just like here's exactly like what we're doing but that's the bad guy and then and then we're like but we're like but but we're the good of that yeah you know and then there's just like mother's basement has like a whole um has like these videos where he talks yeah, about like yeah. the 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 movies wild. the the anime movies so wild made by that call and <laughs> just like watching that where it's like <laughs> it's like how are you how <laughs> uh which makes me think of we watched crow collars most recent video on yeah. the ables from like uh the cinema sins guy, guy. jeremy cinema sins or whatever it was bad it was bad. Like, here's the thing, because Crow Collar and I were on sort of, like, the same page of it's like, listen, Cinema Sins, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, same. Like, I I, I watched them, mm-hmm. like, you know. It's like, I watched them, and, and she's like, I feel like sometimes people get, like, really, like, really fucking upset at them in a way that's like, who cares, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and so then it was like, I knew from watching back in the day that, like, the Ables was, like, this thing that he was yeah, doing, yeah. this book that was coming out, and it was like, oh superheroes with disabilities and i'm like oh that's like an interesting idea and it's like you know, it's a blind kid with telekinesis and i'm like oh that could be like an interesting sort of mm-hmm. concept or whatever and so like when i saw that crow collar made a video about mm-hmm. it i was like i want this to not be like bad yeah you know just and she like went into it also not wanting it not to wanting bad. it to be bad but it's also like this is a crow collar video and which she means, yeah. which means it's probably <laughs> bad yep but, like, it's unfortunate the ways that it was bad. Oh, yeah. Because it was like, oh, it was real bad. It was, like, just, just... <laughs> it's like, it's like, how can a book that's supposed to be against ableism just be so ableist? So a- like, like, just in some of the most... Just, like, baffling ways. I don't know how he wrote it without, yeah. like... Doing literally any amount of research. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's, it's, like, truly... Like, she's describing how the book describes Down Syndrome. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't really know much about Down Syndrome, but I know that that's <laughs> not it. I, I've, like, interacted, like, mm-hmm. with plenty of, uh, of, like, people with Down Syndrome and, and such, and it's just, like, it's not, mm-hmm. like... Yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it was... Like, it's just like you're watching this video and, and they're just, there's just new things. Yeah. It's just like, it just keeps getting like worse. And you're like, <laughs> how? How can you keep making it worse? Because it's just like, if, if it was just like, oh, it was well-intentioned, yeah. but he's just like a shit writer, you know, because one of her big things was like, it reads more like a script yep. than like yeah, a book yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's like a movie guy. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, if that, w- if that was the criticism yeah 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 but no it's just, it's like, just like she didn't even really touch that like no. barely mentioned it and the rest was all just like yeah oof. yeah it was just a lot of oof and then some just like it's like the writing's boring yep yeah, and then yeah, yeah. like it's just so oof and then a bunch of shit that just doesn't make sense it's just yeah. like oh my god yeah and like don't get me wrong writing book it's hard yep. but like my god and like if you're writing about something mm-hmm. like that you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta do some research, yep, yep. you know? Uh, but, but yeah, that, that was Crow Collar, good, good channel. Yep, yeah, uh, yeah, have, yeah, I haven't watched her in, like, a, in, like, a little while, yeah, but... Yeah, just, like, does great, like, super long, uh, mm-hmm. like, in-depth stuff of, like, a lot of times just, like, like, shit YA books, or mm-hmm. just, like, 
weird like <laughs> see the thing is is that like love crow collar and i trust crow collar's like opinion on some yeah, of these yeah, things yeah. but there's this like the series of books where it's like about like human pets or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. and she's like it's not a fetish thing and like <laughs> Like, listen, I'm trying to trust you, and I'm trying to believe you. You've read the book, and I haven't, but, like... But it seems like But, like, I'm really straining to not believe that this is a fetish thing. (laughs) Like, like you're like, the way it's written, like, I don't think it's, like, I think it's trying... I'm, like... Trying to be serious. Trying to be serious and do, like... But sometimes, like, those types of, like, Mm -hmm. they will go hard into, like, the world building or, like, whatever. Right, you know, it's, like, it's, like, a, like... It's trying to make this other, like, point to do this other, like, sci-fi thing, and I'm, like, I mean, yeah, but, like, also, there is, like, it's, like, (laughs) the human pets people are, like, genetically modified to look younger or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. and there is like an underground like brothel of them or whatever so it's also like not not, not about yeah, that yeah, kind no. of you know <laughs> like it, you know but it's like but again she's read the books i haven't yeah, but yeah, i just yeah. remember like listening to that video <laughs> and being like i'm trying like i'm trying to take your word for yeah, it but like are yeah. you sure like, I feel like I need to like. I feel like, it's like on the one hand I feel like I need to read this, and on the other hand I'm like I don't, I don't need. Wanna, yes. I don't. I don't want to read this. Um, but yeah. Um, so anyway, keep getting yeah. so off track. But the but but I really like this chapter. I, know, I do really like this chapter. We get we get we get like Sazed is helping this yep. person yeah, out, yeah, yeah, yeah. which I've said a million times <laughs> at this point. But he's helping this woman out, and then fucking what's her name shows up tindall tindall yeah. shows up you've been here nearly all day Mm-hmm. And, and they have like a conversation uh and they eventually i forget exactly the nature of it but it's like we we get some of like them talking and then like she was like do you want to take a break yeah and he was like <laughs> when she said that it's like suddenly all of his like fatigue like hit him yeah and he was like yeah maybe you're right his fatigue his worry even his sorrow i would love to mm-hmm. and then and then you like immediately go to breeze to... another job well done breeze thought yep you immediately jump to breeze's perspective yep. and it's like ah yep. <laughs> yes <laughs> but it's so interesting because this is like get we finally get like a breeze yes. perspective chapter and that's because you, you've talked about like it's so interesting his like thoughts on like the soothing yep. and stuff yep and like getting to see it through his eyes does help yep because yeah, like yeah, yeah. Joked... as opposed to like how he explains it right because it's like i've you know we had that episode yeah, breeze yeah, yeah. is an incel yeah. where i joked about that you know because of the way he's always like you know everything's manipulation yeah, if you really yeah. think about it <laughs> which which you know is is funny to then yeah. call him an incel for that <laughs> <laughs> but but then like seeing like from his perspective it's yeah. super interesting because you know he's like you know it's not mind control if it was yeah. then like as, as soon as I, as soon as they left, they would have, you know, stopped. You yep. know, it's like, they wanted to do this, I just nudged them. Yes. And I would still argue that the fact that they are unaware of the fact of that the, you yeah, are doing yeah. it is the part that's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fact that the other person is unaware that you're doing it, you know, it's like, and he's like, oh, you know, is it, you know, it's comparable to, like, uh, a woman wearing a low-cut <laughs> dress or whatever, you know, um, or... Yeah, you, uh... Soothing, when done right, was no more violation of another person than it was for a woman to wear a low-cut gown or speak in a commanding voice. All three produced common, understandable, and most important, natural reactions to people. Take Sazed, said, for example. Was it invasive to make the man less fatigued so he, would, so he could better go about his menstruations? Was it wrong to soothe away his pain just a bit, thereby making him able to cope with suffering? And yeah. Yeah, and, and see, it's like that stuff is interesting because it's like he's doing these things that are like very like helpful, yep. like soothing his, you know, fatigue and other things, which then come back whenever he has this yep. moment with her because it's like, yeah, you yeah. are tired. Yep. You do want to go. go. Yep. <laughs> it's, yep. like, it's like, oh, it all just like hit me now that I'm not, now that like you mention it. Yes. And it's like, I, yeah, no, it's definitely her mentioning it that's yep. made you feel that way. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's like a perfect timing to like mm-hmm. do that. Yep. Yeah, because it's like he's got that like subtle touch that, that, that makes it that way. Yeah. And, and it is interesting because there is an argument. There is a, um, you can make, oh boy, what am I trying to say here? If you're coming at this from like a consequentialist perspective, mm-hmm. yeah, philosophically, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, where it's like 
it's not about what you do but about the outcomes yeah um then there is an argument that can be made for like if you if you like is something bad if you do it no one's harmed by it and you don't get caught right the the, the sort of the example is um the that that gets used in like my philosophy classes and stuff the the sort of like there are two sort of similar examples, one being, like, you cheat on your partner and they never find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a bad thing? Because they don't get harmed from it and they never find out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and also, like, the same thing for, like, um, you know, like peeping on someone, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, if they never find out, are, are they really, like, harmed by yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, And this sort of, like, and so you can, like... <laughs> and I have heard someone be like, I mean, you know, as as a consequentialist, it, it, I have to like, like, no, yeah, I, I don't yeah. think it is. But it's like my sort of argument, because I tend to be more of a consequentialist, is that like well, what you've done is you've now created this great potential for harm. Yeah. And you can't guarantee that the person's never going to find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it still... could also harm you. Yeah. You know, like mm -hmm. it's... I don't know. Right, right. You know, the, the, the assumption, of course, being that, that, like, it... you know, you, you do this thing, you get your gratification out of it, and then, you know, yeah. you you know, you know move on and no one ever finds out yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. So it's like, you get away with it, you increase your joy, yeah. and you don't in decrease the joy of anyone else, you don't cause harm to anyone else. And so, from the sort of pure consequentialist perspective, more joy has been created yeah. and no one has been harmed, so isn't it a good thing, actually? Yeah. Um, and so my sort of answer to that is like, well, you created a lot of sort of potential harm yeah. in the way that like, you, you can't actually guarantee though that no one's going to, to find out, yeah. right? It's like, if they did find out, they would be harmed by it. Right. So you should work under the assumption that they will yeah. because that has sort of the greatest potential to like not cause harm. Yeah. And that's sort of like... Because there's also sort of like, there's a form of consequentialism where you're trying to make everyone, like, trying to create the most happiness, and then when we're trying to do the least it's, harm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Because people, because as soon as you start talking about, like, consequentialism, and like, oh, you're just trying to make people happy, they're yeah. like, oh, what about blood sport? Oh, so you're fine with blood yeah, sport yeah, yeah, yeah. then? Because people like blood sport, but then people get hurt. And it's like, and I'm like, I'm tired of all the fucking blood sport arguments, <laughs> because I'm like... Do you want blood sport? Are you saying that you personally would like to watch blood sport? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is yeah. that what you're saying? And if they're like, well, no, it's like, yeah, most people yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, it's like, yes, blood sports have existed in the past, but also, it's like, you know. Is the person being forced to participate in this right. thing, or are they doing it willingly? What does it mean to do it willingly? If you exist in, within a framework in which you have to do this in order to get money in order to survive, yep. then how willing, willing. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. that? And these are all interesting and fun sort of like conversations that we can have. But no, just because <laughs> like, you just assume that everyone wants to see the blood sports, right? <laughs> it's like most people would rather that like people don't get hurt. Yep. And like people, you know, you can talk about like the NFL and like... Yeah, you know, yeah, concussions yeah. and all that sort of stuff and, like, how, how we should change the game to prevent concussions and there are people who are against it because, well, this is the way that the game is and, and all that sort of stuff. But a lot of that's more due with tradition than yeah. it is about, well, no, I want them to get hurt. To, right. I want them to have brain injuries. Right, right, right. You know, it's like you'd rather that your favorite players be healthy. Right. <laughs> so they can keep playing the game and, and you know. But anyway... The, the the point is yeah, is that yeah. like actually if if <laughs> if doing blood sport causes harm i don't care how much joy it causes right. Right, i'd right. rather no one be happy but also no one be hurt <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I feel like more likely some people are gonna have to endure some amount of discomfort in life yeah. because of just the nature of you can't control literally everything. Uh and also it's hard to figure out what you want sometimes. Yeah. But like, you know, we can do a lot to reduce harm that we're not doing currently. Right. <laughs> you know? It's like listen, I'm a consequentialist about reducing harm. And also it's like the thing about consequentialism is that consequentialism is useful in hindsight. Right? right. The, the goal, to me, the idea with consequentialism is that that's the goal. The goal is do the least amount of harm possible. Yeah. Do the most amount of good, the least amount of harm. And, you know, that's hard to sort of quantify yeah. and determine. So it's like deontology, uh, like the deontological argument of like, here's the rules that you should follow. Yeah. It's like those rules should be informed by a consequentialist perspective. Yeah. Right? It's like... 
okay, we're doing all this stuff and we had good intentions. Yeah, but if the result is that everything's shit, then maybe then, we should yeah. change them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? The consequentialism is a means of like determining how well we're doing. Yeah. And then we can change our like deontological rules or whatever to try and fit something better that will cause more consequentialist good. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. This idea in my mind, the consequentialism and deontology are like opposed or, or like, like opposite. Yeah, because some people are like, oh, it's what's in... Because also, also, can someone please give me a fucking stray definition of what deontology <laughs> is? Because it's like sometimes people are like, deontology is about your intentions rather than your actions. And it's about like rules. Yeah. It's about like rules of what's right and wrong. But then other people be like, it's about your intentions. And those are two yeah. different yeah, yeah, yeah. things, <laughs> right? You know, there's a deontological thing of like, here's the rules and these are the rules you don't follow. Like... People will be like, lying is bad. And then people are like, counterpoint, you should lie to the Nazis about yeah, yeah, hiding yeah. enemies to the state. And yeah. everyone agrees on that. And so, boom, checkmate deontologists. And then they're like, someone was trying to poison someone else, but they fail. And they don't poison that person. So the person doesn't die. From a consequentialist perspective, nothing bad happened. Boom, deontology wins. And I'm like, how does fucking deontology win? Yeah. In that scenario, it's like, well, they intended to do something bad. So deontology is about intentions. That's different from being about rules. Yeah. It's like, like, so what is deontology? I like, and don't get me wrong. I'm a philosophy minor. I was a philosophy minor. I took classes on this yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. and I've always been like confused by it. I'm like, what do you mean, <laughs> fucking Kant? It's about Kant, apparently. I don't know. Ah, ah, ah. And and and. I love it. Yeah. So. Uh, Breeze is interesting because Breeze <laughs> has this sort of like consequentialist perspective where he's like, yeah. well, I'm doing good, you know, and he's got sort of an ends justify the means, yeah. but he's also like the means he tries to be like subtle and do good things and, you know. Yeah. Tindwell was even, was an even more ac ac ooh, applicable example. Perhaps someone call, some would call Breeze a meddler for soothing her sense of responsibility and her disappointment when she saw Sazed. But Breeze had not created the emotions that the disappointment had been overshadowing. Emotions like curiosity, respect, love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, especially with someone like Breeze who can only soothe. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like it's about understanding what emotions are there. No, if soothing were simple, mind control, Tindwell would have turned away from Sazed as soon as the two had left Breeze's area of influence. Mm -hmm. But Breeze knew that she wouldn't. A crucial, a crucial decision had been made, and Breeze had not made the decision for her. The moment had been building for weeks. It would have occurred with or without Breeze. It right. merely helped hap helped it happen sooner. Yeah, he, he just sort of views his role sort of like accelerating yep. the sort of like inevitable. Yeah. Which is interesting. It, it, like, it, like, it is super interesting. Like, I love being in Breeze's perspective here. And yep. we finally got to come to Breeze's perspective and see him like, you know, soothing these people and like trying to like help them in the ways in which like he's like helping... Sezed and Tindwell there to sort of like <laughs> get, get their shit going. It's interesting, you know? Um, I, I, I like getting this uh, perspective from him. Yeah. Like, my only other note was Bree's perspective. Yeah. I also like this was, uh, he studied the refugees trying to decide what each one was feeling. This was the other great misunderstanding about soothing. Allomancy wasn't nearly as important as observational talent. Mm -hmm. True, having a subtle touch certainly helped, but soothing didn't give an allomancer the ability to know someone's feelings. Those Breeze had to guess on his own. Yep. It's, you know, like we said, he has a high insight. He's yep. like, I need, I need a really high insight score in order to understand their intentions in order to properly do my magic on them. Yep. <laughs> it's neato. And so then Breeze goes on about doing his, his thing. Yeah. Oh, it's like, uh, someone shows up. It's Ellen like, shows up. Ellen and Ham show up. Yeah. And talk about some shit. Cause it's like, Ellen needs Ham to go do something and Breeze is like. That's a little... He did give Ham a nudge to make him less argumentative. Breeze mm -hmm. wasn't in the mood to deal with a man's prattling. <laughs> yep. yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Which to me indicates it's like he, if, if he didn't want to be having these like yep. conversations with him yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he wouldn't he just wouldn't he'd yeah. do that yeah <laughs> you know like he's not in the mood right now so he's not so know. he's just not gonna do it but like other times he is in the mood yeah yeah sort of so, so probably specifically uh, mm -hmm. 
maybe targets the stuff around it, so that would be stronger mm. to have yeah. a little argument. <laughs> oh yeah, like I can definitely see him like that now is a good time for, for, for Ham and I yep. to do our shtick. Yep, yep. <laughs> that was a good time for Ham and I to do our shtick so well, the maybe, rest of the crew can, you know maybe break the break some tension mm-hmm. or something. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Uh and you know, he has some comments about ham and ham's nature as like uh a uh, you know what what's the term that they use for pewter burners thugs he's thugs, like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like oh he's like a thug but he's very sort of like non-confrontational or something yeah. did the others not realize how strangely non-confrontational ham was he liked to argue with friends but he rarely came to any conclusions in his philo- philosophizing plus he absolutely hated fighting with strangers mhm uh Breeze had always found that an odd attribute in one who was essentially hired to hit people. Yep, 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 yep. He gave Ham a bit of soothing to make him less worried about confronting the merchants. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right, because he needs to go you know, confront yeah. the merchants about like political stuff yeah. or whatever. Yep, and then Breeze goes off because they're like, Breeze, do you want to leave? And he's like, yep. <laughs> yep. And then he goes uh, to hang out with clubs. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes to hang out with clubs, and along the way, he's, like, soothing scullery maids to make their uh, nights better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he talks about that with, with clubs, because he's, like, he likes talking with clubs, because clubs is immune to his alamancy. Yeah, yeah. And so he's, like, you know, being a soother, it, it like, changes you, because, like, I, I view people differently yeah. because of my alamancy. Do you know what it's like, clubs, being a soother? It gives you remarkable control. It's a wonderful feeling, being able to influence those around her, around you, always feeling like you have a handle on how people react. Sounds delightful, uh, Club said flatly. Yet, it does things to you. I spend most of my time watching people, tweaking, nudging, and soothing. That's changed me. I don't look at people the same way. It's hard to simply be friends with someone when you see them as something to be influenced and changed. Right. Which is interesting, because it does sort of, like... You know, he's like, oh, how, like, invasive is it really? But then he's also like, I don't view people the same yep. way. Yeah. And so it's like, you know, when there's, like, things to be nudged. So it's like, <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm not being intrusive, but also I'm not fully seeing these people as people yep. Yep. in the same kind of a way, which it, which is interesting. Feels, like, separate from everyone. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and also it talks about that that's part of why he, he doesn't get romantically involved. Yep. Yep. Because he just sort of, like, does the soothing, like, kind of unconsciously. I can't help it anymore. I always touch the emotions of everyone around me. And so when a woman comes to love me, he liked to think he wasn't invasive. Yet how could he trust anyone who said they loved him? Was it he or his how al- his alamancy that they responded to? Yep. So even so like even still yep. he's like, "Oh, it's not really invasive, yep. but also I would feel weird if I were yes. to get into like a romantic or like sexual kind of relationship yep, with someone." Yeah, I would feel like I was like mm-hmm maybe taking advantage of them yep you know which is which is interesting yeah. so it's like he he kind of gets it but yep. also like doesn't. but i think also like needs to have some sort of mm-hmm. like a reasoning you know like yeah he is so good at it mm-hmm. and like and does enjoy it so he needs to like yep i'm now because i'm thinking back because because uh, we talked about this before and like the the previous book had like nerdy and clues were talking about um on their podcast it was like nerdy was like he, you know, the, the, like, a- everyone sort of asks Breeze to do this. Yeah. Like, they all sort of, like, judge him for the soothing, but then they're also like, yeah, but we also need you to do all the soothing. Yes. And so it's like, um, you know, he kind of needs to be, uh, needs to be the soother for them. And yeah. he kind of, like, has to be this way. And he kind of has yeah. to, like, justify And has it. to be good at it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so he has to kind of, like, justify it. Yeah. And it's like, because <laughs> it's like, everyone's like, oh, you know. But then they're also like, but Breeze, please yep. yeah, <laughs> help us yeah, and yeah. do this, you know. <laughs> so, so it's like, you know, uh, I forget the exact nature, but I remember you like playing me that little, yep. that little bit, which was which was super interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, and so then they have that little, they're, they're, they're talking and Alrian <laughs> shows up and, and starts uh, messing with Breeze. Yeah. Uh, and we get, I think we get some of his perspective... While that's happening, like, we're in his perspective when she shows up. Yep. Yep. Because then we end up switching over to Vin's perspective. And Vin's watching this happen. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, and she's like, 
you know, testing to see yeah. if... Well, that answers one question. Aurienne is an Alamancer. She's been riding Breeze's emotion ever since she arrived, making him more attracted to each other, to, attracted to her. Yep. So if you look in the section before, there's, like, mm-hmm. a, a bit where it's, like, uh... Um, yeah, because I, I remember, like, reading it, like... N- yeah, desire immediately blossomed inside him. No, Breeze thought. She's half your age. You're a dirty old man. Dirty. Yep. <laughs> Aurienne, he said uncomfortably. Yep, 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 And, uh... Yep. And and then you know we we pretty shortly after that get like the the writing thing and I'm like yeah. ah yes yeah. cross 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 which is interesting because like there's there's probably the implication so that he, that like he has like a little bit of that yeah but she's just like yeah amplifying it but uh, you know I don't I don't know if you can take an emo- with rioting take an emotion from zero to something or if you like I think it probably has to be there in some fashion yeah 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 but just sort of like cranking it yep. up a notch you yep. know it whatever whatever aspect of her that he would find attractive she just yep. whoop, yep. <laughs> just makes it sort of like more apparent it's like why am i so yeah you know? yeah and that's and that's kind of interesting you, you know and it's also like it, it's also interesting because just right after we heard him like mm-hmm. kind of talk about how he like is mm-hmm. afraid of being in a romantic relationship because of that yep well and then we have her who's like actively yep. like using it to try and like get with him yeah yeah, which is which is what you might call dubious consent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you could write a lot of dubcon fanfic about <laughs> about Miss Warren <laughs> with soothers and yeah, writers yeah, and all that. Yeah. See, before I was like talking about the ten I orgy yeah. and that yeah, like yeah, yeah. Sanderson needs to write that, but I guess it's probably more of a job for the fan fiction community. Yeah. To... <laughs> I'm I'm like. Because I'm like, someone out there who's written Mistborn fan fiction has to have, like, written about someone fucking while on 10. I feel like it has oh, to have I'm happened. Sh- I'm sure. Yeah. Because also, like, th- that'd also be an interesting one, like, if you do just get, like, a bunch of I'm rioters in a room together. Sure. Did I show you the, someone, like, asked Sanderson that question? And... Uh, I think maybe you showed me something yeah. about that. Yeah. Well, because it was just like, does 10 make sex better? And him just being like... Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sigh, yes. Which Yo, is... sigh, yes. And then it was, there was another question that someone asked, and he was, and he was like, what's up with you guys? Or oh, something like that. Right, because it was the, the, the free hand, safe hand yeah. thing. Yeah. Because right, which right. one's the, the the naughty hand that you're not supposed to show? Uh, <laughs> the safe, safe hand. hand, yeah. And it's like, would, would a hand job with the safe hand be... <laughs> the the like equivalent yeah. to anal which is an odd question and yeah, yeah, yeah. but like i get what you're trying to say which would be like more of a like taboo uh, yeah, 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 yeah and it's like, it's like yeah i guess so yeah it's like ooh it's which is like, safe he does play into it like a little bit like yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a like <laughs> that was a that was a pup at the door and i guess the door wasn't completely closed because it's getting pushed open yeah and i just see the little paw <laughs> Just like a little, a little bit of a little tuft of fur <laughs> sticking through the crack. It's so cute. I saw it that time. Yep. <laughs> the little the little one wants to come in. I think she's she's being a little baby. Wow, my knees. <laughs> yeah, you gotta remember your knees. <laughs> she's like, no, I don't want to come in. Yeah, I, I just cl- want the door to be open. I closed the door a little bit and then she scratched it back open. I think I gotta go let him out. Yeah. <laughs> she stood across the backyard barking for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Lost the spot in the book. Yeah. All right. Um, yes, what, <laughs> what, what, were we, what were we saying? Uh, we were talking about... Uh... About, like, Breeze and Ariane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, because, like, what, what was it? It was, like... You know, she's like, oh, right. I, we, we were talking about the, like, free hand, safe yes. hand, oh, and yeah. the, like, we're all that right. sort of stuff, which we don't need to, <laughs> <laughs> to, to sort of to sort of keep on. Um, but I do, I forget who it was, some, some, so they got their little slutty hand that they kind of <laughs> keep, <laughs> keep hidden or whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, see, so yeah, that, that was an interesting chapter and then we get like vin's perspective where she was like making sure that clubs yep. was actually an alamancer and then she goes off to like follow demu yep. it's like time to go arrest demu yeah yeah uh and is that the end of the chapter or do they have the demu stuff i think they have the demu stuff okay yeah 
Yep, they, uh... Yeah, they, they go and they, they... Yeah, because it's like she follows Demu and he's, like, part of the Church of the Survivor. Yep. <laughs> is essentially the thing. Yep. And he goes and is, like, talking to the to the people being, like, you know... Yep, there's 200 people there. Mm-hmm. And, uh... He's, like, preaching, basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, we shouldn't fear the mists, my friends, Demu said. His wasn't the voice of a strong leader or a forceful battle commander. It was the fo- voice of a hardened youth. A little hesitant, but compelling nonetheless. Their survivor taught us this. I know it's difficult to think of the mists without remembering stories of mist wraiths or other horrors, but the survivor gave the mists to us. We should try to remember them through him. <laughs> yeah which is interesting especially as we're like getting this stuff about like how the mists are maybe the deepness mm-hmm. that like vin's been talking about and like i'm i'm inclined to believe vin at this point but who knows yeah. it, it could be whatever i'm like <laughs> is it gonna be bad when it's like yes the mist he gave the mist to us and then we have to like destroy the mist yeah. or whatever and um i don't know what are we getting to the well of ascension <laughs> I'm I'm so glad that we're finally doing the podcast because I want to read more yeah, chapters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want to just like listen. We're close. To... We're close. Yeah, because like I could, I could, you know, it's it's common. It's it's definitely common. Um, at the ten I orgy, <laughs> it's the secret to it all. And you get a bunch of rioters. <laughs> uh huh. You get you get a bunch of rioters in a room. That's also probably you know. Anyway. See, that's what, because then I was like, because in the previous thing, I was like, you get a bunch of ten eyes together, and then, like, a smoker comes in and just, like, ruins it. But that wouldn't be the case, because that's not how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it's a bunch of rioters having an orgy, and they're then, all just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then a, and then a smoker comes in and just <laughs> ruins the whole thing. <laughs> or it's intentional, and it's like a, you know. Yeah. It's like a, a, a weird, like, yeah, almost edging yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. You know. It's about, like, uh, getting close and then stopping. <laughs> it's like, all right, turn on the copper and then turn it back off. <laughs> anyway, I should, I should, see, now I'm just thinking about the fact that, <laughs> that your sister watches this. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, that's all right. Nerdy and Clues have a whole smart, smart corner. Mm-hmm. A smart corner. The smart corner. <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But. <laughs> yeah, we, we just talk about, like... Because what was this, like, and then, and then if a sex scene were to happen here? Yeah, basically. And, like... Because yeah. didn't you say that they did that for, like, Wheel of Time? Oh, yeah, they did it for Wheel of Time. Because in Wheel of Time, they're always, like... It's about to start, and yep. you know, yeah, they, they, they yeah. or like, like a... all of the spankings. There's just like <laughs> right, yeah, right. So like, there's yeah, all sorts there's so of like weird shit like it. that, like yeah, weird like like not sexual, but like it just feels like it could be. So that's why Smut Corner came about because it just like felt like there should there or just like I mean, I'm just thinking about um oh, it's been too long. I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting the names. Are you... Is it a, is a spanking thing? Yeah, 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 Are you talking about Perrin and Fayil? No, okay. because they're really... Because you keep saying that. You keep saying Perrin and Fayil and spanking, but that hasn't really been happening. It happened in... I think in, like, book four, there's, like, a big, like... Yeah, but, like, it hasn't... It, it Like, it hasn't been happening... Yeah. Like a lot or anything and so yeah. i'm just waiting for the moment in which the fl- the flip switches you, you the switch f- whatever you've had the the like uh like bdsm talk with uh with her parents right well yeah, yeah but yeah, but yeah. but but parent hasn't taken that to heart Dark. at all yeah 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 <laughs> because i have had the because there's a conversation where fayul's parents well, specifically one of Fayo's parents, her dad is like, listen, parent, as we all know, the ideal relationship <laughs> is a is a subdom relationship <laughs> where where your wife is like a, a bratty sub. That's just how it goes. Listen, I, I don't make the rules, but but the but it's just the ideal relationship. Um, and, and parents just like, what? And it's like, <laughs> these, these, what, what, what are they? Cause I almost said Fayil, these Fayil women, but I'm like, that's mm. not the name of their group. Uh, they are from, from Saldea. 
Yeah, the Saldean Salde- women. Yeah, the Saldean women. You know, you gotta, you gotta. They're 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 brats that you have to. Yep, yep. That you have to dom. Yep. And yep. That is the ideal relationship, Perrin. Don't you forget. Um. So they had that conversation, but Perrin didn't take that to heart, which unfortunately he will have to because of the way these books are. Um. But no, the spanking that I'm thinking of is is with the Aiel, and it's when the wise right. ones right. spank. What's her name? Egwene. 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 Uh, mm-hmm. When you let him in, I can just hear his, like, nails on the hardwood. Just like... Ch- 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 yep. ch- ch- He's being a little crazy. I tried to let him in, like, two seconds ago, and then he didn't want to come in, and then he was at the door. Yeah. Crazy. But no, it was, it was Egwene getting spanked yes. by all the, the, the wise oh, ones yeah. Yeah, before yeah. she, like, left. Yeah, 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 Where it's, like, literally, they're, like, by the end of it, her, like, shift has come up. And yep. she's, like, getting spanked on her, like, bare ass yep. by all these women. <laughs> and it's, like... I'm pretty sure she's shirtless. Yeah. And everyone else in there, like, I'm pretty sure since it's taking place, like, in the sweat tents, everyone's naked. Yeah, pretty much. And so <laughs> I'm just, like, it's just a bunch of naked, sweaty women all yep. spanking yep. young, sexy Egwene. Yep. <laughs> and I'm, like... Like, but the, and the thing is that it's also, like, actually, like, a scene. It's, like, actually, like, an emotional, like, like, big growth moment and actually, like, badass, kind of, like. Right, because it's this whole thing about, like, the IU and she'd been lying to them yep. and this whole, their whole culture of, like, honor and obligation yep. and she's, like, you know, it's the whole thing where it's, like, you, you, you're the only one who can determine when your sort of obligation yep. has been met. Yep. And so it's, like she has to realize like she she has to like they're gonna spank her but she's the one who has to like be like no it's it's done it's, uh, yeah basically. which is sort of like i'm like and and to sort of explore that through the sort of lens of like bdsm yep. almost yeah, yeah, yeah where it's about like sort of consent and knowing how much you can take right but it's like it's it's, but it's also, like, it's also like being direct... kind of coy about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, it kind of makes sense, but also there's no sex in this. But also all the spanking, which is definitely sexual, but it's not sexual. Yeah, yeah. But it's also, like, there was just a time in which spanking just happened just... in, like, schools. Yep. Like, it was just a form of corporal punishment and, in schools. And he definitely uses it in Wheel of Time, like, like that. Yeah. And, like... I, I've watched some stuff in, like, some interviews and stuff about, like, people, like, in schools in, like, mm-hmm. the 60s and stuff like that. And yeah. it's, like, such a different, mm-hmm. like, it, it's so common and stuff mm-hmm. in, in, in that area. So, like, I can definitely see him writing that because, like, that's yeah. just kind of mm-hmm. what he knew. <laughs> right. And so it's just, like, reading it now, it, it just, just, it's just, like, especially when it's, like, yep, all the naked Aiel <laughs> yeah. women just wailing on Egwene's, <laughs> you know, like, she, I mean, she's not like, it's not like it's described like this, yeah, per yeah, se, yeah, yeah. but I, cause I was about to say her, you know, her hot young ass and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. but like, but, but like in the story, Egwene is supposed yep. to be this like beautiful yeah, woman, yeah, yeah. you know, it's like it, her and Rand don't end up together, but she is like, you know, this like pretty girl or whatever. Yep. And, and, and she is like relatively young. I mean, she's like, how old is she by this, by where I'm at in the book? Because she starts at like, does she start out 18 or? I think she starts out maybe like 17, 18. Yeah. Yeah. Cause she's like a woman cause she has yeah. like her braid or whatever. But like, yeah. you know, but like it's some like number. She just of... became a, a woman basically. Right. And it's like, but I know that like over the course, like with the amount of books that I'm in. Yeah. Some years have passed. Yeah. So it's like, she's, you know. 20 19 yeah that sounds about right because i'm pretty sure ranch starts at like 20 and ends at like 22 or some, something like that yeah so it's like so yeah it's yeah. just like you are actually re- obligated wheel of time right right, right. yeah and, and so it's just like it <laughs> and, and then also like uh not Egwene, but elaine because there's yeah. Egwene and there's elaine yep. and it's you know it's a mess elaine and avienda are absolutely mm-hmm. boning mm-hmm. <laughs> It's like, listen, we're we're in we're in whatever place we're in. Um, wh- where is it they're at with the with the daggers? Yeah, uh, Ab- Abu Dabar. Uh, Abu, yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Um, and and she's there with like Elaine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like at one point they're like, cause it's like, were they like in Teleron Riyadh or something like that? And she like is drunk. Right, because, like, she's, because, like, 
Elaine and Avienda, like Avienda's drunk because Elaine was drinking and she like imagines one of the other ladies out of her clothes or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they were in Teleron Riyadh or yeah. whatever, or, or something, yeah. and just, like, uh, imagines her out of her shirt or something like that. I think she probably does it to Nynaeve, maybe. Yeah, I think she does it to Nynaeve. Because, like, uh, she puts her in, like, sea folk uh, clothes. Yeah, sea folk clothes, so she, like, makes her topless. Yeah. And then also there was like, that time in Teleron Riyadh where Elaine was just hanging out topless oh, yeah. because she was on the sea folk ship. Uh, yep. Yeah, and then, and then Elaine and Avienda are like, oh, we're, like best friends now and yeah and and because there's like a line where it's like and at night they shared things that they never shared with anyone else before and i'm like uh-huh mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah you and your your warder bond that's a spoiler but <laughs> spoilers for wheel of time i'm sorry that this that this, this, this podcast mis- is mis- this misborn podcast should just come with like uh, wheel of time spoilers through uh almost the end of book seven right <laughs> See, that, that's the thing. Like, see, I'll, when, whenever I put... It'll be the funniest thing, because I'll, like, put all these in, like, the playlist. Yeah. And the playlist will be, like... I should just add to the playlist, like, you know, first reader podcast about Mistborn, blah, blah, blah. And then it'll be, like, contain spoilers for Wheel, <laughs> Wheel of Time up through book seven. And One Piece. And One Piece. <laughs> spoilers for One Piece and Wheel of Time. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't need to tell you that there's spoilers for Mistborn in here. It's, you can you can figure that out on your own. <laughs> uh, anyway. Anyway, this was a good chapter. <laughs> um, but th- there's still more because Demu, Demu talks yeah. to the to the cult of the survivor. Yeah. Uh, the church of the survivor. Yeah. Sorry, it's rude to call it a cult. <laughs> even though it is, but you know. It's, uh, this is a bit more of his, um, mm-hmm. like, kind of sermon here. Uh, I know it's hard without the survivor. I know you're afraid of the armies. Trust me. I see them, too. I know you suffer beneath this siege. I, I don't know if I can even tell you not to worry. The survivor himself knew great hardship. The death of his wife, his imprisonment in the pits, pits of Hetsin, but he survived. That's the point, isn't it? We have to live on, no matter how hard all this gets. We will win in the end, just like he did. Yep. And then, the Lady Air, what of her? Lady Vin bears a great responsibility. Uh, you can see the weight bowing her down and how frustrated she is with the problems in the city. She's a straightforward woman, and I don't think she likes the Assembly's politicking. But she'll mm-hmm. protect us, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is like, mm-hmm. she's already been kind of seeing this pressure and, mm-hmm. and stuff. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now she's like a kind of a religious figure mm-hmm. in, this, uh, in this kind of new... Uh, yep, becoming yep. a religious figure. She'll bring us peace someday. The air will bring back the sun, stop the ash from falling, but we have to survive until then, and we have to fight. <laughs> yep, and I mean, maybe. Maybe she's the hero of ages, and she'll do it. But see, that's the thing, though. It's like, it's interesting because, like, they're saying all this th- stuff, and if she does end up sort of being the hero of ages and, like, doing all that stuff, it won't be because they said it. They're, it's not that their prophecies in quotes were like correct yep. it's like they didn't know they didn't have yeah. like a mystical yeah, knowledge yeah, yeah. that she'd do it. it was it's just gonna like turn out to be correct potentially i don't know if that's actually gonna be like what happens of course but like it feels like something that could maybe happen but you know uh zane's got god in his ear so who knows yeah. <laughs> i also like this a little bit from vin it's not even really religion vin thought as she listened the theology is so simple not at all like the complex belief that says that speaks about yeah demu taught basic concepts he held up kelsier as a model talking about survival about enduring enduring hardships vin could see why the direct words would appeal to the ska it's also interesting because this sort of makes for an interesting kind of the beginning of the chapter versus the end of the chapter where says it's like esoterica is not going to help yeah. this woman and then you have sort of like demu and this like people's religion basically when when right. they only had this kind of okay, and, and so the way that she sort of like contrasts it to the like religion that says it talks about and the way he talks about it where it's yes. like the sort of examination of like the rituals and the practices of yeah. these religions that are like these big organized religions. Well, this is sort of like a new fledgling. Yeah. And belief. a lot of like kind of stuff that's more 
what they're going through in the moment. Right, rather than sort of like these religions that were made in a particular time and place in which it made sense for them to sort of like have these beliefs and to be talking about these certain kinds of things. Because yeah. it's like the beliefs of a people in a region are always going to sort of reflect the reality around them in some degree or another. Like the thing that's interesting to me is that like in Esoterica, he talks about like, at one point he, he gets into sort of like the, the ways in which the Israelite God ends up being like similar and different to like the Canaanite God. Yeah. And he talks about how like in the sort of the Canaanite religion, they talk about like there's the sea above and the sea below. Mm-hmm. The sea above being like the sky, sky and then like water comes from the sky and that's water falling from like the sea above. And then the sea below is the groundwater. When you dig a well and you get well water, that's because there's a sea below the earth. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, and I'm like, as someone who doesn't have to dig wells in order to have water, who doesn't yes. sort of like live in that kind of world anymore, the idea of like a sea under the ground, these crazy yeah. primitive yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, well, no, they knew that when you dig a well, there's yeah, they, yeah, yeah. you dig and you find water down there. Where does this water come from? The yep. sea yeah, beneath see, the ground. Yeah, and well, there's, there's seas that, that we, mm-hmm. uh, you know, so like it makes sense under the water. There's water under the ground, a big mm-hmm. amount of water. A big amount of water is the sea. Yep, the big, the, you know, there's the sea and then there's like, you dig down and there's more water yep. and then up in the sky, the sky yep. blue, yeah. like the sea and, and, and water, water comes, comes from, from it. it. <laughs> like, Absolutely. You, you know, it's like... Yeah, you know, it, it, it's super interesting. Um, you know, God divides the waters into the sky and the sea. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And their, like, their, like, geography and, like, plant mm-hmm. life and, like, all that type of stuff is, is very different from the religion says I was mm-hmm. referencing and speaking about. Yep, so it's just sort of, it's like... It's kind of even less context. Mm-hmm, which is interesting because it's, like, you know, religion forms for a reason mm-hmm. and just to sort of serve a purpose. Yep. And, and so it's interesting. It's like, you know, we want to hold on to these sort of like old religions and it's good that they're like remembered and that we can like talk about them. But it's also like they're, they're old and they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, it, it's kind of the thing. It's like, yes, you can be a neo-pagan if you want, yes. yeah, <laughs> but yeah, you yeah, have yeah. to understand that you are not working in continuity right. <laughs> with, with these things and, and you're going to bring new things to it yep. and different things to yep. it. And it's going to be the, shaped. The, the own context from, from where mm-hmm. you come. Exactly. And so it's like, Sazed can bring these religions to these people, but like, he, he's not being great about sort of marketing it, so yeah, to say, yeah, yeah. in a way that will like... Yeah, because he's just like, that's just something he's interested in. Yeah, he, just, he, he has like a scholarly understanding of it, but not yep. like a, you know, yep. sort of personal, like, you know, he is not a priest of all of these religions. Right. He is not like personally have this connection to all of them he has studied them from an academic perspective and yep. he can tell you all about them but it doesn't mean that he's going to convince you you know like a, a classicist um someone who's studied the classics who studied like greek antiquity and all that stuff can tell you a lot about you know the greek sort of religion and um you know, how they would have worshipped their gods and their rituals and stuff. But is that going to be super useful to these neo-pagans right, who are practicing right, right. it now? <laughs> Who's to say? Some of them, I'm sure, would be way into it. Yes, I can do it the right way. And others yes. would be like, it's not about that. Yep, yep. It's about making Tumblr posts about Aphrodite. <laughs> When I'm trying to search for specifically Hades fan art of Aphrodite. <laughs> and then I get a bunch of, like, I'm in the Aphrodite tag. So it's like, here's people talking about, like how they worship Aphrodite, yeah. and I'm like, cool, cool, but that's not what I was <laughs> looking for. <laughs> and so I keep on going. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I do remember seeing someone, it's like, the Aphrodite tag is so funny because you have all these people talking about Hades, and then just, like, people worshiping Aphrodite, and then also people talking about Percy Jackson. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> and it's all just jumbled up. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Also, it seems like Demu's uh, kind of trying to to get Ellen's uh, mm-hmm. uh, to to win in the vote. That's part yes. of his kind of mm-hmm. part of sort of like the political yep. moving. You know, trying to like get the the church. Yeah. Go on and tell your side. assembly men you don't want Lord Set or even Lord Penrod to be your king. The mm-hmm. vote happens in one day, and we need to make sure and certain the right man is king. The survivor chose Ellen Venture, and that's who we must follow. Mm-hmm, because, yeah, churches are good at political action. Mm-hmm. 
You you're more familiar with that than I am. I, absolutely. I mean, they're they're built in communities. A lot of times, mm-hmm. you, and most time, you raise your kids in them, mm-hmm. and and all of that, and they're they're quite fast at, get, at getting things done a lot of times. Yeah, they're, they're sort of like, again, because it's talking about, you know, when people talk about like... And like a, like a prayer chain, mm-hmm. those things go fast. Yeah. Like people just like, I, I'm thinking kind of like, pre, obviously not pre-internet, but pre like social media, the way we, the way we use it, just the way mm-hmm. information would get through like a, a like a church or something mm-hmm. like that because of like prayer chains it would just immediately i don't even know what a prayer chain is basically just you're calling people to tell people to pray about stuff mm. <laughs> you know basically interesting and and so it's like a whole like because <laughs> it sort of makes me think of the whole thing that people talk about with like third places yeah you know place... and that's one of the few that is that are still around honestly yep and that are like Sort of free in a sense, yeah. although there is, you know, sometimes the, the sort of like the, the tithing, the yeah, like, yeah, yeah. the it kind of depends doing on collection the... and sort of stuff like that, depending on, on... It depends on the place you go. Right. Like, growing up, the, like the church that, because like, that's, that's a stereotype you get like a lot of like greedy churches, I just want, like, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you get these like... Like the mega churches the, and whatnot. Right. But like most of like small churches and stuff like that right. like if you can't afford to no, no, no like... of course because like you know like at our church they pass around like a plate or whatever yeah. but it's like if you can't like no one's gonna like yeah, you know, yeah. fucking... and they like our church well, like later on they didn't like pass around a thing they just like had a mm-hmm. like bucket because i think it was just like yeah because you feel like sort of more pressured, pressured if you're when, passing like, it around and, and stuff just like sort that. of like having a place so, like you can go if you want to or, like yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 and then they had a specific uh we'll call it, they called it a benevolence fund mm, uh mm-hmm. where it was like a special offering that would be taken and then yeah, they would yeah. like for like a specific someone had a fire or someone like something like this happened right. or whatever and it's like we're having a special offering a bunch of people put in and they can help people out because like our church it's like they would pass around like the offering plates and people could do if they want to and then like every i think it was maybe this was like a once a year thing i don't know if it was like less common than that or more they, they would do like a, we're having our like you know fun drive thing yep. you know like you can or like pledge drive or whatever you can pledge this much money you can you know and it'll help us do this and the other thing to like yep better the church you know like oh we're gonna clean up this area because like the church had a lot of like overgrown areas which i actually liked how they looked overgrown better yeah. than like yeah. cleaned up and stuff but you know um because it was like an old like you know like it was a real churchy looking church it yeah. was like brick and you know had, and everything and... yep and it had like a bell i helped ring the bell and stuff stained glass probably because it was episcopal uh yeah i'm sure there was some stained glass there <laughs> um the, the the fucking priest lives like on on site they live yeah. like in like a house on like church grounds and yep. stuff with with, the, with his family and whatnot um so yeah it, it was like you know uh why were we talking about we're talking about like political action and just right, other, right, right. other stuff like that but that's like less like political it's just like just right, up, like... right but, but more just talking about like a place that you can go where you don't have to spend yep. money to be there yeah. and you can like have like a community with people and yep. it's like if you're not religious there's not kind of a good alternative right right so it's hard to get that kind of like good community action in the same mm-hmm. way yeah, 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 yeah which is which is unfortunate yeah. you know it's like <laughs> and, and, and it's like you know not all people who are religious are conservative but there tends to be this yeah. sort of like overlap between like sort of like religious conservative is very much like a thing yes. here in the united oh, states yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so, definitely like the the christian nationalism strain and, and mm-hmm. stuff that's uh so it's like this is why they're able to like pretty strong and they grew up quite uh, around quite a bit mm-hmm. yeah but so like, there's a reason why these people are, are so like able to like organize and do these kinds yep. of things in a way that like a lot of leftists aren't yep. and <laughs> they see each other every week mm-hmm. like they they go to a, to a place and see each other every week. Yep. And, you know, that's just... Mm-hmm. And it's like, leftists have their places online, but they're also, yep. like, they're online. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Which is not, like... Which just isn't the same. Because, like, just honestly, like, around, of... around COVID and stuff, a lot of churches went, mm-hmm. uh, like... Um, like, doing, like, Zoom and doing stuff? Doing Zoom and stuff like that. And, like, a lot of churches lost, like, half of their, like, numbers mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Because you're not... It's not your habit to go every week. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So, yeah, it's very, it's very interesting. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just seeing how it's, like, how that's kind of happening here. Yeah. Although, you know. I mean, and, and religion can be used, like, mm-hmm. in all sorts of different ways, like, politically. Like, there's, yeah. there's plenty of, like, mm-hmm. 
uh, like leftists, like Christian right, right, and right. like other like like religious that religions mm-hmm. and stuff that like use mm-hmm. like use it in the same way, basically. Right, right, right. yeah. Uh, is there anything more with with this chapter? Um, there's just a little bit of uh, Vin being like. Uh, it comes back to that. She thought, they sound rational until I talk about me. So just, mm-hmm. like, her being, like, right, you know, right. kind of uh, feeling off about becoming a religious figure. Because, like, it's mm-hmm. happening to Kelsier, like, after he died. Mm-hmm. But Vin is still, still alive, here. you know? Yes, yeah, so, like, it happens to, like, Kelsier after he died. And also Kelsier, like, intentionally sort of set yes. himself up to be this thing. But then when she gets wrapped up into it, she's like, oh, that's irrational. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's like, a, it's like, oh, and all the rest of it was so irrational. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, oh, well, I can understand it because Kelsey did all this stuff. And she doesn't say it. Yes. Part- necessarily, like, quite like that, but, you know, it's just interesting. She's like, she can't put herself in that same sort of category. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, and then what? Yep. Yeah. Uh... It was just another little paragraph that was interesting. And the teachings were still evolving. The deification of Kelsier she had expected. Even the reverence for her was understandable. But where did Demu get the promises that Vin would stop the ash and bring back the sun? How did he know to preach of green grasses and blue skies, describing the world as was described only in some of the world's most obscure texts? Mm -hmm. He described a strange world of colors and beauty, a place foreign and difficult to conceive, but wonderful all the same. Flowers and green plants were strange, alien things to these people. Even Vin had trouble visualizing them. Right. Yeah, because I don't know about that. Like, where did he get that information? Because I don't know that we've had... I mean, maybe... Did Kelsier talk about that to, like, the soldiers and stuff? Um, I... I he may have. Yeah. Because, like, that, that, like, that's maybe where he got it from. Maybe he got it from, like, Kelsier, because Kelsier yeah. had that sort of stuff. Um, it's like, where did he get the idea that she's going to do this? And it's like, well, that's just sort of, like, kind of, you know, part of the... like Like, they were talking about with, like the prophecies and it's more about hope than it's than yeah. it is about like actually predicting the future or whatever you know it's like oh she'll definitely turn it all around <laughs> um yeah. but like as for like knowing about the green grass and stuff i'm like maybe kelsier mentioned that but you know p- part of me is like it's conjure a question mark but it's also like because i'm like she walks away from this being like he's probably not a conjure then because see i thought my first thought when this was happening was actually he <laughs> like he, he's meeting up with a bunch of people and i was like these are other conjure yeah <laughs> this got is you like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but then but then it was like the church of the survivor stuff and i was like oh yeah, okay yeah, yeah. um but i'm still like would it make sense for a conjure demo to come here and do this stuff yeah Probably not if, like, this conjure's supposed to be working to, like, undermine Ellen yeah. because it's, like, a conjure for Set or Straff or whatever, yeah. right, is the idea. Um, that, like, this conjure is, like, replace someone because they're, like, all right, we, we, know, we know that it's Straff. We know that it's Straff's conjure. Yeah, yeah, yeah we because, do. Because Straff was, yeah. right, right, right. So, so, so we do know that it's Straff. Um, and so it's, like, you know, would he be going to this Church of the Survivor thing and being like, vote for Ellen, you know, because right, that, that seems right. like it would go against, like, I don't, you know, it's like, it's possible that the Chondro is like, okay, going to be replacing Demu, Demu goes off and does this sort of stuff, so I need so to I need also to go, it, yeah. but then, like, it would be like, don't, wouldn't be, like, necessarily, like, free... bringing up Ellen, like, yeah, like, either just not bring Ellen up at all, or, like, bring up Ellen, like, somewhat, like, you know, in a way that would make them not like him, even yeah. if it's not, like, outright bashing right, him, right. but just, like, talking about him in a way that, you know, is, like, could be sort of plausibly denied. It's right. like, oh, no, I wasn't trying to, like, hurt him. It just, like, I misconstrued. Like, I misinterpreted, you know? It's yeah. like, it, it seems like if this were the conjure, would be trying to undermine him in some way, and this doesn't seem like the way to do that. Yeah. So he's probably not a conjure. Yeah. And then they do talk for a bit. Um, mm-hmm. She's like, I didn't know you were a member of the Church of the Survivor. Um... And, uh... Because we know that Demu had that, like, kind of a religious experience when he yep. was, like, fighting that yep. one guy. And, like, he was like, I give you, like, my blessing or whatever. Yes. And, like, uses his power to, like, move. Yep. To, like, help him, like, fight and then And then Kelsier stuff. came and, uh, mm-hmm. and, like, picked him up from the caves after... Yep, came and saved him. And yep. she's like, I, like, he wasn't going... I made him go do yep. that, you know? Um, and, and that's interesting. Well, because it's also, it's like... Because one thing that's, like, an interesting wrinkle to it that, like, Demu doesn't bring up, but does add sort of an interesting wrinkle to his whole religious, to his whole religiosity, is that he also felt Kelsier 
trying to push his sword to kill the guy and Demu didn't do it. That Demu intentionally yeah. like held back and didn't like yeah, 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 yeah. do the final blow on the guy. So like that's interesting. That's yeah, like an yeah, interesting yeah. part of his sort of like I- I'd like to get a little bit more on that sort of like, you know, it's like you, you do believe that like Kelsier is this thing, but also yep. you didn't like very intentionally like not yeah, yeah, yeah. not go along with what he was trying to do that one time. Yep. And like it, it was better for it. Yeah. But like it's just that, that moment's always kind of, like, stuck with me. Yeah. And especially in regards, like, whenever this came up and I'm, and it sort of came up again, I was like, I want to know more about that moment, yeah. though. Because that's, like, interesting in terms of, like, how does that play into, like, your faith? Yeah. And your sort of beliefs about, like, Kelsier and the church and whatnot. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I hear the, the pups barking. Um, where, where, were we, where were we at? We were, we were talking about Demu. Mm-hmm. But, like... More specific than that. Yeah. Um, I've been I've been holding my notebook like this. Yeah. To like fan myself with, so I've been like holding it open, and I have like my thumb here at the bottom, and I've like rubbed away mm, part of the yeah, part of the notes of the that notes. I have. Um, yeah. for like the next couple chapters. Yeah, you we're talking about like whether he was the Chandra or not, still or right. And I was talking about his whole like thing with yeah. Kelsier and the religion and whatnot, and like how that might affect him and his beliefs. Um, is there, is there anything else? Um, no, but he does feel a little, like, weird that he is, uh, Mm -hmm. it's like, uh, she's like, you really believe, don't you? Yes, my lady. But you knew Kelsier. You were with us from near the beginning. You know he's no god. He died to overthrow the Lord Ruler. That doesn't make him divine. He taught us how to survive, to have hope. You survived before. People had hope before Kelsier was thrown in those pits. Not like we do now. Besides, he had power, my lady. I felt it. Mm Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, and the power was alamancy and lots of people have it, but... Yeah. But it is also still, like, I mean, it's a lot of people, but it's also a few people, depending on how you look at it. Um, but yeah, it's like, I felt it. It's like, yeah, but you also felt that power pushing you in a direction that you didn't like one time. Yeah, yep. <laughs> and, I, and I think that's super interesting, and, I, and I'd like to know sort of more about that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's... Uh... That's it for, for chapter 36? Yep. Alrighty, chapter 37. My notes for chapter 37 are bronze equal wakefulness. Bronze is wakefulness. Yeah. Says it in Tindal scene, Ellen thinking about what kind of king he is. And that's literally it. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even really remember it super well, yeah, unfortunately. Because, yeah, yeah. like, Says yeah. and Tindal have, like, a scene. Yeah, so first they talk about, like, um, they, they come out with uh, what seems like seems like evidence that the deepness uh was the mist or a change in the mists yeah yeah because yeah. Um, yeah, it is possible that, like the mist was has like always been a thing but the deepness is just like yeah. changing the mist yeah. somehow you, you think lady vin is right don't you you think the deepness was the mist tindall nodded i agree says it said at the very least what we now call the deepness was some sort of change in the mist aren't they like writing notes back and forth or something for this scene um at one point they they write she writes something to him okay. it's just this written passage the uh-huh. uh um but he says uh where is it um she pushed uh she pushed the written passage over to say Ed. even with his mental indexes and self notes it would be faster for her to write out the passage than it would be for him to try and find it within his own copper mines gotcha yeah i i think that like for some reason i got it in my head i was like they're talking, but then I was like, they're passing notes? Yeah. And yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's just this, like, piece um, mm-hmm. that, uh, like, from one of the bi- biographies or whatever. Gotcha. Um, yeah, the, the passage is from a biography of King uh, Wednegon. Wednegon. He was one of the last leaders who resisted the Lord Ruler in any sort of meaningful combat. Mm-hmm. I spent a great deal of time with the king during his final weeks. He seemed frustrated, as one might imagine. His soldiers could not stand against the conqueror's coloss. And his men had been beaten back repeatedly ever since Thalspire. However, the king didn't blame his soldiers. He thought that his problems came from another source, food. He mentioned this idea several times during those last days. He thought that if he had more food, he could have held out. In this, Wednegon blamed the deepness. For though the deepness had been defeated, or at least weakened, its touch had depleted Darlene's food stores. His people could not both raise food and resist the conqueror's demon armies. In the end, that was why they fell. 
Gotcha. We we have a little, a little guest. Mm-hmm. She just like came and is laying on the pillow. Yeah, Holly decided to come to come visit. Mm-hmm. She was up on the bed, and now she's she's over here hanging out with us. And Tilly's just up there on the bed, chilling, being a, being a little floof. They're so fluffy. They're so fluffy. Is what they, they had a mouse earlier. Yeah, they had a mouse earlier. They got a mouse outside. Yeah, Tilly grabbed Tilly. Like, Tilly, I think, killed it and was guarding it. And then Holly tried to bring it inside. Mm-hmm. But but was unsuccessful. Yes. Was thwarted. She was thwarted at the porch. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they're just a little fluffs because they're because Tilly's a full poodle. And Holly is a little Aussie doodle. Mm-hmm. And so they're just both such little fluffs. They're little balls of fluff. And they're just so cute. And they're so soft. And just just, just so good to hug and to pet. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yes. the, the, the That guy, that king, he, yep. he was like, it was the deepness that caused this food shortage. Food shortage. And they were like, oh yeah, this like darkness. Yes. Yeah. And it's like, it's this mist, because the mist is like blocking out the sun or whatever and causing crops to be bad and stuff like that. Yep. And it's interesting because it's like, the mist is still doing that. <laughs> yep. And like, and if the mists are growing stronger, if by killing the Lord Ruler, we also destroyed whatever force was keeping the mist chained. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh... She just, she likes to bark. And it's the same bark each time. It's... Rawr! Mm. Yeah. But, anyway... Um, but yeah, so, so it's like the mists were weird, and but the mists are still weird, is the thing. It's like, he, I don't think, I think you just kind of, because it's like, oh, the mists and the ash mounts and the stuff supposedly, like, happened with, like, the Lord Ruler's Ascension. Yeah. So it's like, the deepness won, but he was maybe keeping some of it back, yeah. in a sense. You know, because it's like, the plants are still all fucked up. <laughs> they're, right. They're not green. Right. They're, like, fucked up, and the... And the sky is, you know, like the, the, the sun is red and yep. there's, you know, ash falling everywhere and all that sort of stuff. So it's like something happened. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, but that's like the ash is maybe, is different from the mist because like the ash falls yep. because of the, the ash mounts, yep. which is different from the mist. I always forget. Yeah, like... I'd kind of forgotten that there was like ash everywhere. Yeah. And that that's like a big part of everything. Because the ash and the sweeping up the ash and the ash on everything... I feel like was sort of more talked about in the first book. Yep. Because it was sort of like getting you used to the world. Yep. And you're like, you're seeing like the ska, like shoveling ash like every mm-hmm. day. Like it's like a big part of. Yeah. yeah so like keeping yeah. everything going. Um, but yeah, so it's like the, the, the like mist maybe get kept at bay, but this. <laughs> Shh. Holly, that's enough. It, it's, it's the thing that she does that gets me the most is just that. Because Tilly will do, like, a, a lead-up to barking yeah. sometimes, but she'll just... <laughs> just catch off guard. I'd snapped at the exact time that she that she barked. I was like, she'll just... And I and yeah. then she barked at exactly that time. It was crazy. Anyway, um, the Ash Mounts, that's maybe got something to do with it. If he can control... If he can, like... He could maybe, here's the thing, strong enough allomancy, you could maybe do some geological bullshit, you know? Just like... In like pushing and pulling, you mean? Yeah, like pushing and pulling on like metals and stuff. Yeah. You could maybe cause some sort of like funky geothermal bullshit, yeah. especially because he can like change his weight because he's also yeah, yeah, yeah. Ferrochemist. Ferrochemist. so if he can like if he can do the whole like i store my age in a metal and then burn the metal and get even more yep. youth then could he do a similar thing with like other attributes yeah and thus make himself like stupid strong stupid like like could, could he do that with like other attributes and and as such could he make himself just like impossibly like heavy yeah, yeah, yeah. and then just like push the earth yeah <laughs> you know right because it is ba- it's based on on like your yeah, weight yeah, yeah. and like if you were to push because here's the thing if it's just like with strong enough allomancy because it's like oh i have such a fine thing of allomancy that i can see all this stuff yep sorry i just remembered the fucking steel inquisitors yep. again where's marsh anyway <laughs> 
Marsh, you showed up at the beginning of this book and then you left. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> they, it's like, oh, there's trace metals and everything. I can see the tiny metals. And I was like, but could you be like, I see the metal at the core of the planet. <laughs> you know, I see the iron core yeah, of the planet. Yeah. I see the, you know. And then just like, fly because you just push off of the metal and like yeah, yeah, yeah. the molten mantle of the earth or whatever or just like or just like in wheel of time haha <laughs> whenever they're because they use like um the power they they use channeling yeah i was like what's their word for it channeling yeah, yeah, yeah. um because they teach Egwene how to like search for metal, metal in, in the earth yeah, metal deposits metal deposits in the earth to like know where to mine and yep. stuff um because like you know the weave and and, and whatnot um not the weave it's kind of the weave yeah like because it's like uh, earth cause, cause and, the, yeah because yeah. they like you have like the different elements and yep. people like and they and they weave them into like yes you know like threads of fire and earth and whatnot yep. and so, Gotta go say hi. Gotta go say hi. Because those rank, because those voices could be anyone, you know. Mm-hmm. It could be intruders. It's not like these are the people who live here and that, you know, you see every day. Because uh, when I said the weave, I was like, that's a D&D thing. Magic mm. in D&D is the weave. Because Gale talks about it in Baldur's Gate. Um, the weave. Um, anyway, finding metal deposits in the ground yeah, using yeah. allomancy for the sake of knowing where to mine like they did yep. yeah, in yeah. wheel of time but i don't know if that'd be possible because blah 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 blah. yeah because yeah. like i don't know what the distance is and also whatever but maybe the lord ruler was able to do some geological bullshit yeah with his special powers and stuff but i don't know just speculation anyway i like it oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. these pups <laughs> Yeah, and then there's a, there's a little line by Sazed that I liked. By your words, and, or, like, proven wrong, by your, uh, let's try that again. <laughs> and your arguments from, from before, proven wrong. Uh, by your, your words and my own studies. I did not wish this to be true, Tindwell. You defied the Synod again to s- seek after something you didn't even want to believe. <laughs> Uh, there's a difference between fearing something and desiring it. The return of the deepness could destroy it. I d- could, de- could destroy us. I did not want this information, but neither could I pass by the opportunity to discover it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, I really didn't want this. Like, I just was, like, worried, and I just thought this, mm-hmm. you know, like... <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's not that I wanted this to be true. Right. It's that, like, you know, I really want it not to be true, so I need to study it yep. and make sure that this isn't happening. Yeah, and it might be. <laughs> and it might be, so, like, yep. you know, global warming. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. Yeah. Uh and uh and and they talk i know that this like ends up with them having like kind of a romantic conversation sorry say that again i said i know this ends up with them having kind of yes. a romantic conversation yes um yeah because so he, th- he like looks at her a few times beautiful eyes uh foolish thoughts he told himself looking away you've mm-hmm. always known that some things were meant for others but not for you yeah um and then she's like well i'm gonna leave mm-hmm. and he's like okay <laughs> mm-hmm. and she's like you're not gonna like you're not gonna like try and stop me yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's like again you refuse to argue what would be the point of argument you are a wise and determined person you you must be guided by your own conscious mm-hmm. um and then she says sometimes people only seem determined upon one course because they have been offered no other options mm-hmm. and he's like is she saying what i think she's saying or whatever mm-hmm. um and uh she's like Maybe I could be convinced to stay here. This is, you know, I could help you with this or whatever. Yeah, t- Tindall, Tindall's annoying in that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, don't get me wrong. I, I enjoyed this scene and I liked it and I wasn't, like, thinking this way or feeling this way in time. Yeah. But it's just sort of, like, the whole thing is, like, just fucking say what you... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, it's like, no, you have to say it. And it's like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> She's, she, I don't know, she has, I don't know, it, it, it's a bit of that, like, fail. But in a way that I actually kind of like a little bit more. Yeah. Where she's like, no, you have to say it. You need to, like... Yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's like what I respect is someone who will say no to me. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yep. Um, not someone who just acquiesces, but is, but she's a little bit more obvious 
Yeah, that, she will say it. Like she, she will say like, it. Like Fayul won't say it. Fayul won't say it. Like, but she like she'll be like, you know, this is what I'm looking for. Yeah, she's like, listen, I've I've been trying to like, you know, I've been trying to hint and it's not working. <laughs> yeah, and, and and she'll at least recognize that yeah. eventually, which is nice as yes. opposed to Fayul, who's just a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just was like uh, listening to the book, and I'm just like, I can't yeah. stand this. Like, just like, here's the thing. I'm just like, you just, you need someone else. You each just need someone else. I get that you each think the other one's cool and hot, but you, yeah. but you just need to find someone fucking else. Yeah. I, like, you have not gotten to my favorite bit with Fayul. Oh like, no. There's, it, there's a great like. Right. Like, I, I, I like her a lot more. But, but like you like her a lot more because you have more information than I do. But also, going by, by like, you saying that they just need someone else, my favorite section with Fayul, she's not near Perrin. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, because that's the thing. Like, they're not in the same, like, area or whatever. And she's she's such a, a, a great character mm-hmm. in, that whole, in that whole bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that's the thing. It's like, I just, I don't like them together. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? It's like, Fayil is cool and interesting. Yeah. Like, when she shows up and she's like, I'm a hunter yeah. for the horn and she's got and all And she this... gets some cool stuff. She she gets some fucking cool it's like stuff. It's she, like, she's cool, but then she's just, <laughs> I just hate the way yep. that she is with Perrin. Oh, yeah. And, and, and whatnot, <laughs> you know? And so it's just like, I just want them to be cool. Yep. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, so, so yes, uh, uh, says it was having those, that conversation yeah. with, and there's, there's a bit where he's, he's like, I can't be like, mm-hmm. like basically I can't have kids or anything. And right. It, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, I can't. <laughs> Yeah, because well, yeah, this like, whole, like, you know... He's uh, like, I'm a eunuch, and, like... Yeah, and, and, and it's, it's against, like, think think just a little bit about, yeah. like, what my situation was like, and, and like, I don't care. Yeah, she, she goes, uh, she goes, I have had more than enough of men and childbearing over the years, says it. I've done my duty to the terrorist people. I would like to stay away from them for a time, I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Part of me resents them for what was done to me. Yeah. <coughs> And then, uh, I know says it, I took that duty upon myself, and I'm glad for my service, but during the years I spent alone, meeting with the keepers only on occasion, I found it frustrating that all their planning seemed directed at maintaining their status as a conquered people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just... Mm-hmm. I keep, like, coughing. I keep, like, inhaling a little bit of spit and then coughing. Yeah. It's happened, like, a couple of times where I just get, like, a little bit of spit and then I just start coughing again. But that time... You started talking while I was coughing, and so I probably won't be able to edit it out. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I was over coughing, and then you start reading it, and I'm like, no! <laughs> I didn't even notice. So my that, brain just, like... See, that's sh- the thing. You just don't notice that I, kind of thing. Like, in the podcast, you're just like, oh, I just don't yeah. hear it. And it's like, meanwhile, like... Because, like, I did some episodes where I did, like, the truncate silence, and yeah. I didn't do, like, another listen-through, which was my bad. Um, you, and I'm gonna, like, try and do it again, because I was, like, re- listening to an episode, and, like, I just hear myself, like, quietly, like, burp, and I'm, like, I thought that the mic wouldn't have picked that up enough, yeah, so that it would just yeah. get cut out, and it wasn't, and I'm, like, and, and I'm just, like, I notice it so much. The thing is, is that's more common in, like, shit than you think. Like, like, online stuff, like, I, cause I listen to a lot of podcasts and stuff, like, yeah. there's a lot of, like, just burps, like, just all sorts oh, of, no. like, 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 s- like, sniffles, coughs, like, whatever. Yeah, I know. I just, you know, because, like, I think about, like, you know, I watched, like, a bunch of Game Grumps yeah. growing up, and, like, there, there's a bunch of that shit, but also oh, yeah. it's, like, it's kind of a part of their thing, like, like, Aaron is very much, like, a burpy, farty kind yeah. of guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he, like, you know, like, they play into it, and, like, yeah. you know, it's part of the, the whole, like, thing of it. Yeah, a bit of, like, gross-out humor type, though. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they do some of that, and also it's, you know, I, I feel like it sort of contributes to the whole, like, we're just kind of hanging out, yeah, and, like, you know, yeah. it's, like, pretty just like unedited for the most part game grumps yeah. um you know it sort of contributes to the, like we're just hanging out and it's like i get it but also i'm it, when it's me yeah i'm yeah, like yeah. you know i'm just <laughs> like when, when it's me having to hear myself and i'm hearing my own little like sounds like that yeah. i just like ah! <laughs> you know uh but anyway um so yeah it, it's like 
you know, it's interesting because it's like the whole like just because we're having a relationship doesn't mean it has to be like sexual. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's essentially yeah. sort of like a part of it, which is interesting because I have sort of like different thoughts about that where I'm like, you know, it's interesting because it's like having this relationship where it's like, you know, like, yeah, we can still have a relationship even without having sort of like this aspect of yeah. it, which is nice. But it's also like I think about the sort of like the religious sort of like the ways in which like sex and religion and yeah. like not supposed to have sex except under certain terms and you know it's like waiting till marriage and all that sort right, of thing right. and in this case it's like literally you can't but yeah. it's like it's yeah, not yeah, yeah. Like the point it's like it's about the love and the whatnot and also it's like actually in this previous society this religious theocracy where sex was very specifically controlled in yes. these people in a certain way yeah. it's just kind of like interesting when you think about like the way in which like sex is controlled by religion and like our day it's very like different but right. still just sort of like i don't know i feel like you could you could make some sort of more nuanced connection there yeah. someone else <laughs> <laughs> someone else <laughs> yeah you know um i'm like i don't know it's like yeah. it's like it's, it's like i've connected the dots yeah <laughs> you haven't connected shit i've connected them yeah. um <laughs> but yeah i also love this uh this little a uh, bit. She seemed anxious. Had he ever seen that emotion in her? She was strong, the strongest woman he knew. That couldn't possibly be apprehen- apprehension he saw in her eyes. Give me an excuse, Sazed, she whispered. Mm-hmm. I should very much like it if you stayed, Sazed said, one handed hers. Mm-hmm. Tindall raised an eyebrow. Stay, Sazed, please. <laughs> Tindall smiled. Very well. You have persuaded me. Let us return to our studies then. It is it is very cute. It's really sweet. <laughs> it's, it's, it's cute just being like, give me a reason, please. <laughs> it's like, okay. Uh, yeah. It kind of reminds me of a, um, it's like a Tracy Chapman song, I think. That's who it is. The, 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 the woman who sang, like, I've got a fast car. Oh, I'm like, if you like, have you I've heard... heard like I got a fast car, but I don't like yeah, that's the I've only line I I've car. ever heard. I wish I knew yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the words. Well <laughs> um, I feel like I've heard it like as a meme. I think I've only ever heard like yeah that like you haven't heard like the actual song. No, it's like. Remember when we were driving and driving in your car? It's a fast felt like I was drunk. Uh, yeah. And I, I had a feeling that I belonged. And I, I, yeah. I could be someone, be someone. Um, yeah, I don't. Uh... Yeah, it's 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 a really good song, but she has another one where it's like, um, give me one reason to stay here, and I'll turn right back around. <laughs> Give me one reason to stay here, and I'll turn right back around. Something along those yeah, lines. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, I don't want to leave you lonely. You got to make me change my mind. <laughs> um, and that's, I remember hearing that, I think I heard that at the gym sometimes, when I would go to the mm. gym in college with, with my buddy. Um, but anyway, Tracy Chapman's good. Um, <laughs> I remember one time, me and that, same guy we were roommates later in college not initially but later and he may be we we, we may get him on the podcast yeah, later yeah, yeah. maybe uh, for dune maybe for dune we'll get him on the podcast i'm not saying his name in case he would want to not but like he probably would be fine yeah, yeah, yeah. um especially considering he's trying to be an actor yeah <laughs> <laughs> so like probably he'd be fine but anyway um i think we were like i was playing uh breath of the wild and riding around on my horse and listening to Fast Car with him, just like in our it. apartment together. <laughs> it was a fun time. Um, but yeah, so so they have that really that really cute scene. I, I enjoyed him being like, mm-hmm. you know, it's just like oh, it's this yeah. little thing. And then I guess Ellen's. I guess something happens. Yep, it's uh, it's a bit of a Ellen scene. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Ellen's like, what kind of king am I? Yep. Um, but I don't remember too much about that, unfortunately. Yep, and he's like, uh, um, how did you find me? The soldiers, they're starting to see you as a commander, Ellen. They watch where you are. They stand a little straighter when you're around to polish their weapons if they mm-hmm. know you'll be stopping by. Yep. Um. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's both, like, he's, like, wearing the crown, but also he's been deposed and about mm-hmm. to do this meeting and all of that, and, uh. Yep, and it's like, what am I doing? Who am I? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because he's like, I want to be, 
I want to be good. Yeah. So it's a bit of a conversation with Ham and uh, and such. Right. And it's a it's a good conversation. Right. What what is he sort of like? Because <laughs> he's trying to sort of think about what kind of king he is and what kind of king he wants to be. But I don't remember what his sort of like yeah. conclusions are. Well, both like him realizing that he wants to be king and like that it both sounds arrogant mm-hmm. and but is also like necessary that yeah. he like wants that position, you know? Right, right, right. It's like, um, yeah. Like it's not arrogance. It is ham, but it's an understandable arrogance. I don't think a man could lead without it. In fact, I think that's what I've been missing through most of my reign. Arrogance. Self-confidence. A nicer word, but the same concept. I can do a better <laughs> job for the, for these people than another man could. I simply have to find a way to prove that fact to them. See, and that's interesting because that feels kind of like something... It, it feels kind of like uh, something Set would say, but in reverse. Yeah. You know, where he's like arrogance and it's like self-confidence. It it's a different name for yep. the same thing. Yep. Which is very much how like Set sort of like puts things. Yes. Where he's like, you know, it's like... It's like bribes, yes. It's like, you know, <laughs> bribe is just a promise. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know, by a different name. Um, and you know, it's like is a promise bad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's interesting. He's kind of like this is an interesting sort of like mirror to yeah promises and threats and bribes. Mm-hmm. Promises and threats and bribes. Self confidence and arrogance. Yeah. Yeah. But but you know, uh, while Set does it to sort of like justify himself, Ellen does kind of use it to like admonish himself almost yeah but he's like it's like oh this is almost sort of like a necessary evil the sort of like confidence and it's like ah you know it's it's arrogance and it's like oh it's self-confidence like ah same thing you know it's like trying to sort of admonish himself almost but he's like no i have to i have to do this you know it's like you gotta learn confidence yeah yeah and then uh it looks like there's like a a little skirmish between sets and straps uh people Mm -hmm. out there or whatever Gotcha. Um, it's like, uh, that happen often? Uh, the soldier, soldier shrugged. More and more often lately. Usually the scouting patrols run afoul of each other and get into conflict. Leave a few bodies behind when they retreat. Nothing big, your majesty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah over a long enough time scale, though. That's, right. Know. Right. He said, uh, big enough, he thought to himself. Those armies must be as, as tense as we are. The soldiers can't enjoy remaining so long in, in a siege. Yep. Particularly with the win- winter weather. Yep. Yep. And he's like, I need time. Time. And he's basically think, thinking about, like, he needs time and, like, trying to get back on the throne and, and all mm-hmm. of that. It's like, what are my strengths? What should I, uh, why should I be the one who rules the city and those around it? Um, yep. Yep. And talking about, uh, a scholar, an optimist, a nobleman who loved the ska, mm-hmm. um, and someone who would not abandon, basically. Yep. Is, that's what I am. He would not abandon them. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, and then, and then next chapter. <laughs> I do like, uh, that's what I am. An idealist, a melodramatic idealist, who despite his books and learning, never did mer- make a very good nobleman. <laughs> yep, that's what I thought. I thought he sort of ended on, like, idealist. Yeah, yeah. Yep, and that's, uh, and that's this chapter, and then, oh boy, yeah. the next chapter. Chapter 38. Uh, chapter 38 is a bit more sort of action-y. Yep, yeah, because they uh, get to the um, assembly and such. Um, yeah, I think I actually have like notes for this chapter. Because gotcha. Vin is jumpy at the assembly. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's sort of like jumpy and nervous about like what's gonna happen because like the assembly is like an important, you know, this is like a big important uh, meeting that's happening. And and Ellen is like, "Hey, Vin, uh, sorry about this. Yep, <laughs> sorry yep. about this." Uh, but I'm about to do something and, and, you know, I, I wanted to run it by you first, but, uh, unfortunately that didn't happen, yep. which is, you know, it's just, it's one of those things where it's like things happening such that Vin can continue to have like these sort of, you know, like these sorts of things between Ellen and Vin yep. where it's like, oh, you know, he's just using you and, yeah. you know, and she's like, it's not a big deal, but then she also does feel a little bit like, hey, wait. It's like, yep, yeah, 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 where it's like, eh, you really should have, because like, he knows it's going to make me uncomfortable. It's like, oh my God, it's, it, this is about the church, isn't it? Yeah. And it is. Yeah. Uh, my, my note is Rome is now Christian. <laughs> uh, Constantine has converted yep. to Christianity. Yep. Yep. Uh, except... Well, we'll see. Because <laughs> cause he's like, yep, I'm part of the Church of the Survivor now. To yep. just sort of, like, gain votes and stuff. And, and and Vin's like, yeah, I'm not too happy about that. Yep. But 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 I do see, like, the reasoning behind it. And do they do they start having the vote? Um, 
No, not until after the attack. <laughs> yeah, because Ellen is attacked, Vin defends. Yep. yep. So, like, he starts getting attacked by people. And I have uh, Orsero to the rescue. Yep. Because Vin's fighting, shit's going down, and then Orsero shows up yep. and is like, here's some medals. <laughs> yep, because it's her against, like... Like a bunch a of... A bunch of, like, five or six people, mm-hmm. and also she can't go all out because she doesn't want to hurt everyone in the audience. Yep. Yep, it was like, oh, uh, they're, they're trying to do this so that I'll... Because something about, like, the coin shots yep. to try and make it so that I'll, like... Just do a bit, like, a big, like, push out. Right, because they're, like, they're doing this in this crowded area, they're, like, they're trying to keep me from using pushing and pulling so that I don't... Ac- because yes. I'll accidentally, like, hit someone. Yep. Um, and so she's trying to sort of, like, be careful about that, and yep. she's having this fight, and she, because I think she, like, maybe... She's mostly using, like, pewter and stuff. Yeah, and I think she uses, does she use, like, I think she uses, like, some Duralumin at yeah. one point. Yes, yeah, she uses it, because that's why she needs more from... From Orsair. Orsair. And so, like, Orsair shows up and gives her, like, more medals. Uh, Vin takes a dude's eye out. Yep. She fully just, like, I think she just, like, jams her fucking finger in his so. eye. Um, and Vin gets, uh, surprised and is pinned. Vin explodes a dude's head with yep. her own. Yep. She, like, pewter just, like, headbutts this dude's head and just fucking yep. explodes yep. it. <laughs> and Ellen is just like, dear lord. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, Ellen sees all this shit and it's just like, oh my god. And it's like. Yep, because he's never seen her, like, really fight. Like, really, like, do this shit before. And so, like, there's kind of this, like moment which is of course gonna play into the whole like you're you're because like i can just see it i can just see the later scene yeah, where yeah. zane is like he, he he looks at you this way yeah you're you're, you're a the, misborn yeah. and he's scared like, of you yeah scared of you monster you know that type of stuff yeah that kind of shit i can just see it coming but uh but then it's like all right we need to <laughs> we need to hold this vote because today is the last day to yeah. do it so they like go off somewhere else and do the vote yeah and two people vote for set, right? It's like yeah. two people vote for set, and then the rest are like split down the middle voting for Penrod and Ellen, right? Yeah. And so like it's like cool, it's it's a tie, and so then it's gonna go to me because they won't have come up with someone new in time, and you know it's like so the whole Church of the Survivor thing worked. It got the sky on our side, all this sort of stuff. Um, and then the first guy who voted for said, is like, can I change my vote? Yeah. If He's you, like, I feel like it's wasted. I feel like it's wasted if, uh, you know, and then, and then Ellen's thinking about how like the law does allow it. If yep. the thing has, if it, if we haven't formally ended things yet, you can change your vote. Yep. And he's like, I could just not say that. But then he's like, yes, you can change your vote. And they both changed their vote to Penrod. Yep. And so Ellen gets deposed. Yep. And 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 that's how it ends. Yep. That's how this section ends. Uh, really. Here you'll need er, here. Er, sorry, Ellen stood, then slowly removed the crown. Here he said, setting it on the mantle. You'll need this. He nodded to Ham, then left without looking back at the men who discarded him. Yep, yep. And that's the end of that chapter yep. and the end of that part. Yep. End of part uh, three. End of part three, and then part four is knives. Part four knives. Knives. I think there's a Scott Pilgrim character named Knives. <laughs> a girl named Knives. That's what uh, um, someone in the podcast called Nynaeve. They called her Knife. Yep, yep. For, like, a long time. It was great. Yep, I remember you telling me about that. It was coming up with these, uh, was, was it, um... It was Allie and Gus from Wheel Takes. Yeah, the Wheel Takes. Because it, it's, cause it's, like, Wheel Takes as in, like takes online like yeah. you have like a take on yep. thing and it's like wheel takes yes. i was like the wheel takes like what does the wheel take yeah like w- whenever i heard that i was like oh this is that's probably just like some reference i'm supposed some wheel of time reference that i don't mm. get you know it's like oh the wheel takes yeah because yeah, yeah. like, no it's just like wheel it's just like yeah because it's like oh the wheel wills with the wheel the wheel weaves with the wheel, the wheel wills, wills. Yeah. and so it's like oh the wheel takes with the wheel i don't know <laughs> like I'll, I'll i'll get to that phrase eventually and then uh and then sometime like way later i was like takes yep. as in like like a yeah, hot yeah, take yeah. Like, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 okay but yeah so that's chapter yeah. 38 yep and then chapter 39 which is real short 
Yep, uh, we get a little bit of a uh, Straff uh, point of view again. Yep, uh, my only note is Straff plus Zane plus Penrod scene. <laughs> yeah, uh, you failed me, Zane, Straff said. Uh, mm-hmm. Venture and Set still live. Beyond that, you sent a batch of my best Alamancers to their deaths. I warned you they might die. <laughs> <laughs> yep. For a purpose, Zane. <laughs> <laughs> For a purpose, Zane. Why did you need a secret group of Alamancers if you were al- Alamancers? The Alamancers. <laughs> my Alamancers. <laughs> if you were just going to send them on a suicide mission in the middle of a public gathering. Those six men cannot be replaced. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, because cause that was... Because the thing is that Zane wasn't there nope. as part of this, like, death squad yep. to, like... It had taken Straff decades of work with his mistresses to gather so many hi- hidden alamancers. Yep. It had been pleasurable work, but uh, but work all the same. In one reckless gambit, Zane had destroyed a good third of Straff's alamancer children. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> um... But yeah, so yeah. so our like our children dead, our hand exposed, and that creature of Ellen still lives. Yep, <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. And so he's not happy with Zane. Yep. And Zane poisoned him again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and 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 uh, so then he has to like run off. Well, like does he have? He has a scene with Penrod first, though, right? Yep. Uh, Penrod comes up. Uh... Straff's procession waited quietly. Then, from the mists before them, a man on horseback appeared, accompanied by fifty soldiers of his own, Fierce and Penrod. Yeah, because Penrod turns the is like going to turn yep. things over to to Straff. And he goes, "Your men did well. I'm glad uh, your son didn't have to die. He's a good lad, a bad king, but an earnest man." Yeah, which is which is like it's so because I'm just like I get it, but it's also like fuck you. Yeah, like. We should have fucking given it to Set then. Yeah. <laughs> like, because it's like, Set would be better than Straff. Than Straff. And, and, that's the, and everyone was, legit, that was the whole thing, is they didn't want it to go to Straff. Yeah, and then and then you just hand it over to Straff. Yeah. So like, fuck you, why 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 are we even yeah. doing this? Like, <laughs> like, genuinely just like, you should have given it over to Set, you piece of shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. You used to practically grovel at me before parties every week like uh straff mm-hmm. thinks and then penrod um i'm glad we could come to an understanding straff i don't trust set so i guess yeah it's like it's but... like it, i think it's just because he's an outer noble and he knows straff mm-hmm. yeah which is just like which is just such bullshit yeah yeah like uh, the funny thing is that i wasn't this mad at penrod until like literally like right now yeah <laughs> you like like i read it and i'm like yeah and then i'm like but for some reason now i'm like no, fuck you yeah <laughs> it is it is a dog episode. It is. It is an episode of dogs barking like crazy. Um, but yeah, and yeah. so... And then I did want to do a, mm-hmm. like, a Straff kind of trying to put, like, Penrod back in his place, being like, yeah. you're gonna have to get used to being small fish again, uh, Fearson. Mm-hmm. Um, and just, just all that. Yeah, because cause I think, like, with, with this thing I want, I'm like, I kind of, my thoughts at the time was like, I want Penrod to, like, sort of you know, with with this whole like, you're gonna have to be a small fish again for him to sort of like end up being like, actually, fuck this. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Th- that. I want that to sort of be where he ends up going. Yeah, because like, oh, Penrod's like he's all right. Uh, is sort of like how everyone like felt um, before, and how like Ellen kind of felt about him. It's like, no, Penrod's not all right. Penrod's a a, a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, and then after this, we get. The whole Zane poisoned. Yeah, <laughs> poisoned I did. I did want to do this this one more uh, line about like him thinking about Vin again. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, perhaps she really is incapacitated. Straff thought if we moved in, the chill of her touch on his emotions re- returned. Numbness, nothingness. Mm-hmm. You didn't. You needn't fear her so, my lord. Penrod said. Straff raised an eyebrow. I'm not afraid. I'm wary. <laughs> it's just. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's funny. And then, like, it was a visible enough, like, mm-hmm. thing that Penrod saw Noticed. and was like, oh, you're afraid yeah. of her. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. But, yeah, yep. now we'll move on to the yeah, poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, uh, what time is it? 11.17? And then he's like, should have taken effect by now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he got poisoned again. Yep. And then, and then this time he has to, like, run off. Yep. Uh, like hurry on like horseback and be like get yep get her to come here and yep send for amaranta mm-hmm. and uh and he, he has to be sort of like more conspicuous about it this time yeah because normally he's like sends them off and then it's like it's like zane's gonna like hear about this yep. 
um, for sure, and he's like, I have to kill Zane. Yep. Because, like, all right, this is, this is fucking enough of this bullshit with Zane. Zane has to die. Yep. Yep. That's the, the last, uh... The last line. Line of the chapter. Zane had to die. Yep. And that's, and that's the chapter. Yeah. And it's chapter 39. Short little, uh, straff. Yep, just a short there. little old shraff chapter there, and then and then we we've got how like like a third of the book left ish. Yeah, about. Yep, I'm I'm excited. I, I getting into we're getting get, getting back into Sanderlanch land. Yes, I can't wait to suddenly just be at the eye of the world and a bunch <laughs> of shit happens that's not gonna make sense until like book three or whatever yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. until the next book. See that that that's because that's definitely what's gonna happen, right? We're gonna we're gonna get Eye of the Worlded because this is the Well of Ascension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. But but see, in the Eye of the World, we were actually like actively moving in that direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yep. And in, in this, we haven't even like we haven't done shit. We haven't talked about looking for it. No. <laughs> no, not at all. Like, like, cause if cause if we have to go there, they also have to fucking find it. <laughs> like, yeah. So, so we'll yeah. see. I'm, I'm like, why is this book called The Well of Ascension? I'll find <laughs> out. I'll find out in the, in the, in the last, uh, in the last third here. Yeah. But I'm excited to read more. Yeah. I, I will, I will get to, to read more, to listen to more. Yeah. We're probably going to do the, the next, or the last bit of this book in two more parts. Yeah. Probably, probably like two more parts. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Because this one, because this episode already is, is it's quite long. It's, it's like, quite long. Longer, longer than really sort of thought or intended. Yeah. Like the, the raw audio is like almost three hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it, it, it's really getting there. And we have some chunks that'll get like cut out yeah. from like, you know, doing stuff, but, but it won't, uh, you know, it's certainly not going to get it under two hours. Yeah. I'm guessing two and a half. Yeah. I'm guessing like... Or like two forty. Yeah, two forty, or or even just straight up two fifty, because we're at two fifty four right now. But it really just depends on yeah. how much actually ends up getting cut out. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's uh. I think our plan for the next time was what forty through uh forty eight. The end of part four, which forty eight. Yeah, forty through forty eight is what I have written down under under next time. So yeah, basically, we'll do this whole part. Yeah. And then the whole of part five. Mm-hmm. next time or the time after yep 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 and then and then we'll get to move on to the final book yeah. of the trilogy yep the hero of ages and then we'll uh, we'll figure out what we're doing after that mm-hmm yep and i'm i'm so excited for you to get to stormlight mm-hmm. like i'm excited for a lot of other things but there's so much in stormlight that that i know you specifically will will really enjoy yeah 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 because <laughs> yeah, because because there's like a bunch of like i know it's like linguistic yeah, stuff there's a in bunch there. of linguistic stuff there's a bunch of like physics stuff there's mm-hmm. a bunch of like there's all sorts of stuff yeah, yeah, that yeah. i feel like it will be fun it's it's exciting and uh it will definitely get there eventually yeah and i'm excited for for more cosmere stuff in general too yep 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 so. And, and non-Cosmere. And non-Cosmere. We, we've been talking a little bit about, like, Game of Thrones and stuff. Yep, yeah. I've been been talking some about it, um, thinking about it a bit, again, because I haven't been in Game of Thrones yep. brain in, in a long while. I attempted to read Codex Alera. I read about half of it and mm-hmm. wasn't the biggest fan, but I might finish it. Yeah. What's what's that? That's the Jim Butcher, oh, one of his books. Oh, the, the one that was... Um, avatar the last airbender but <laughs> yeah but like right <laughs> yeah yeah like <laughs> yeah the reviews are like it's like it's like avatar the last airbender but with rape yeah it yeah it was a bit yeah which is funny because then you watch like daniel green's video on it and he was just raving about yeah, it yeah and i'm like mm, i feel like these didn't land in the same way for us <laughs> yeah but yep 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 so so yeah, um, I guess this has been uh, Let's talk, talk about, about book. book, and now you can go forth and think about book on your own time. Feel free to leave a comment, yeah. tell us tell us what you think about any and all the stuff that we've said. Let us know yeah. the stuff that we've gotten wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh was it retro rocket tell us the tell us about how yeah, yeah, yeah. how alamancy works yep. <laughs> uh in the ways that we got it wrong earlier you know <laughs> um but yeah uh have a nice whatever time it is yeah. bye bye
Bye. Bye. And I I said bye over here. Have a lovely day. <laughs> but <laughs> but we'll live. <laughs>